in order to get the quest into Sudamar, we need to go here, suggest the content, Sudamar, start the quest, right. Uh, Archmage Katkar is asked that you visit him at Dalaran immediately. Apparently he's discovered some kind of Arcan anomaly. You would like to see it for yourself. Nobody touch it. Not until our guest arrives. There is much to be done. Thank you for coming, Noble. Without you, Azeroth will surely fall. For the last 10,000 years, the Elven city of Sudamar has been sealed in an arcane barrier. Much like Dalaran once was. The barriers come down. Since then, waves of magical energy have been emanating from the city like ripples in a pond. It was in these waves that I sensed a pattern. A spell encrypted amongst chaos. I have recreated the spell here. It's not dangerous, but beyond that, I have no idea what it does. Farewell, my friend. Any disturbance should catalyze the sequence. Just, uh, give it a poke or something. Poke. Ethel Kanesh. Hello. I am Thalysra of the Shaldurai, the Nightborn, first Arcanist in the court of Suramar. My people have made a dire pact, one that spells doom for this world. Time is short. If you have found this message, you are capable of finding me as well. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Ithnala Kanesh. Voice acting, everybody. Sexy, sexy. Hail and well met. Jackie. A magical message in a bottle slipped right beneath the Legion's nose. Clever. The Nightborn could prove powerful allies against the Legion. We must aid this Talisra if we can. We should be able to find her by tracking her magical echoes, the same way I found a distress call. I can teleport you near the location where she recorded that message. From there, you must search for ripples in the very fabric of the arcane itself. My wand should do the trick. Follow the sparks it creates. They should lead you to the place where Talrisa, or Tal, Talisra even, used the magic. Trust in yourself, champion. Portal. That's a portal to Stormwind, though. Be careful, champion. The land of Zuruma has been wild for 10,000 years. Yeah, but I'm wilder. She must have come this way. Keep looking. Die, Outlander. I don't wanna. I'm gonna ook you in the duker, mate. I freaking love these models as well. But they do very much hurt. So here we're, we're using Katgar's wand in order to find the lady that sent the distress call. We're trying to find out what the hell happened to her. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Ithnala Kanesh. Nobi one Kenobi. I hope someone out there is listening. <laughs> Need to keep moving. Oh, sorry, my bad. I didn't know you were gonna talk more. Okay, another ruin. Wrath! Withered. I must be getting close. Ooh. Alright. Wrath Domas! Sure. Rough the most to you as well. Ow, ow, ow. Lead the way, Talisra. Stand down, Erasmus. Can you not see that Elisand has forsaken us? Anna! Sick. That will buy me some time. Hello. Do, do you want to come out of your bubble? Come out Die! of your... Ow, you don't have to scream. <sighs> A time stop spell. She will pay for that. This is not your business, Outlander. Thalistra has betrayed the Grand Magistrix and must be put down. Sick. Love the voice acting. Witness the power of the Nightborn. Who are you? Aran Arcana. An outlander! You received my message? Be careful who you trust. I have much to tell you, but it is not safe to speak here. I cannot hold this barrier forever. 
Talisra lifts a delicate flask to her lips. Her eyes shimmer as she takes a sip. If you push through, we may find shelter up ahead. We are only as strong as a rat Anutanos! We must take care. The Withered Ones prowl this area, ravenous in their hunger for magic and flesh alike. Such is the fate of Nightborn, who cannot drink of the Nightwell. Yum yum. This is my fate as well. Unless... Yeah. Look out! Irath Omnas! Get them off the barrier! Okay. But what if I don't? Like, what if I just let them come? Won't she just be, you know, taking care of it? Or is your shield actually gonna disappear? Because you said that you couldn't hold it up forever. But I highly doubt that. You know, I think you have it in you. I think you got this. I think I don't have to do anything. Shall we test that theory? I'm guessing my theory is wrong because these guys are casting a spell that is doing nothing to them. What are you doing, dude? Stop eating the barrier! She needs the barrier! Come here. Come to the barrier. Look. It's delicious. See, I told you I didn't have to do anything. Ta-da! Look! Empowered. New whip. My strength is fading. We must find shelter. Oh, you're doing fine. You're just missing a little bit of your ribcage there, but besides that, you're doing fine. Why are all the various sub-elf races so addicted to a source of magic, but the ones Leopard Tyranna are not, including the playable Night Elf Mages? Um, those Night Elf Mages that are playable, they come from Highmall, and for many years they were addicted <coughs> to magic. I... I need a moment. That's fine, but did you really have to cough Get on my ear for that? Get them off the barrier! These days, however, uh, I'm wondering how those Highborn are actually coping. Like, they can still cast their spells and whatnot. I wonder what they use. But we have seen other races that can deal... Uh, oh, did I say High Maul? Oh, sorry, I meant Dire Maul. <laughs> um, but we have seen other races that have been able to cope there with it. so many. Like, just look at uh, Verisa Windrunner. Uh, she's been able to cope with her magical addiction. Of course, she had Ronin Strange. to help her out. Why do they not follow? Because you got a magical bubble around yourself. Even though you said you couldn't hold out. I need to rest. Okay. Our isolation has ended. I'm happy that they fixed your neck buck, though, because that was scary. You fight well. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it's time for a proper introduction. Talisra winces and holds her abdomen. <laughs> I can ignore this wound no longer. Oh, it's actually a wound! Oh, I thought you were just missing something of your model. Help me patch this up. I will explain everything. Bandage to Lisa. Adore. One day at a time. Cinematic showing Gul'dan and the Nightborn joining forces. The Nightwell calls to me. We must find a way to reclaim Surumar City. My people have subsisted on the Nightwell for millennia. Ancient mana is our lifeblood. Without it, we become... Well, you saw them out there. Talistra holds her flask aloft, gently shaking free the last precious drops. I'm afraid. I've been rather reckless today. Already my senses are dulling. Without magic to feed upon, I will turn. Please, find me see for something to feed upon. Anything. Anratha Adore. Okay. I will find you some mana to num num on. I think we have some crystals up in here. Hello? I'm looking for mana. Silentia Wills, calling forth ancient keepers. Neat. 
And you have a shield around yourself. You're immune to damage. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to kill your friends here, yeah. I can do that. Oh, you got uh, you got the thingies keeping up your shield. Hang on, I got this. I mean, you could just chill a little bit. I don't have to will all the time. So Ronan had the magic stick, you think? For sure. I don't even think that's for sure. The tethers are broken. Silentia is vulnerable. Charge! Keeper Silencia slain. Nice. Um, now I need six crystallized ancient mana, which are right here. Not sure why I'm not picking them up. Gotta get some mana for my mana, dick friends. Life ain't easy when you're addicted to crack. I mean mana. So that's basically all, uh, so that's also the currency for this zone. Um, you'll find items that will actually give you mana. And that mana can be used as a currency to empower these Nightfallen. Open up their quest lines and all that good stuff. The Nightwell calls to me. Talisa's eyes have dulled and her body is shaking uncontrollably. Here you go. Talisa takes the crystals with a trembling hand. Be careful who you trust. The chamber beyond may be the perfect hiding place, now that this guardian has been dealt with. Come with me. Explored Shalaran with Talisa. The Shalderai will be redeemed. Okay. Let's go explore. Pexus Crystal's behind a new name. Yeah, pretty much. What is this place? I don't know, you tell me. You're from here, right? This chamber. I have never seen anything like it. Cool. So dark. I got like a million jokes for that one. And I decided to not make any of them. In Allah. <laughs> Much yeah. better. Oh, look at that! Ah, oh, she turned on the lights! Lights on, lights on, lights on. The Glepper. Old teleporters. Not so different from the ones in Suramar City. Seems they are inactive. So this is going to be like our rebellion base, right? This is where you're gonna gather everybody. It's kinda cool. Let us explore downstairs. Watch your step. Alrighty. It's good mood lightning. <laughs> lightning, lighting. Talking is so hard today. I mean, talking is hard every day, but damn. Do you like it downstairs? Let's get it on. Strange. The floor looks like a map. It does? And we are at the center. It does? Oh. I guess it does. Cool. One thing is certain. Leyline energy is being fed into this chamber from elsewhere. Ooh. What could have required such power? A weapon, perhaps? Is this a doomsday device? Are we gonna send this off towards Gul'dan? And those keepers protecting it. How long their vigil must have been. Like 10,000 years? 
Man, you should have met these other night elf spirits that I found. <sighs> I have more questions now than before. <gasps> For now, at least we know the Withered have learned to avoid this place. And nobody from the palace would think to search for us here. It is a perfect refuge, a temporary home, until I can return to Suramar. But first, I will need allies. Oh yeah. So basically, I just remembered this. Like, for me it's fun to see this, right? But if you're going to do this on every single alt, this is going to be the... Um, if you remember from Burning Crusade, the Ketgar, uh, Ketgar's Elemental giving you like the tour of uh, Shafra. She's pretty much that. Waiting for that to finish up. Our isolation has ended. The Nightwell is a font of incredible power. We must not allow the Legion to make use of it. Such a temporary home will serve us well. We are only as strong as our will. Hello everybody! I guess you all found this place as well. Neat. The Nightwell is a font of incredible power. We must not allow the Legion to make use of it. Oculus Workshop. We need to make contact with Chief Telemancer Ocula, the man who developed Sudomar's teleportation network. Ocula had a workshop on old Sudomar from the age before the Sundering. He maybe take a refuge there. Teresa pressed a small coin into your palm. <laughs> if you find him, show him this. Hopefully you see him before he sees you. Sudomar must be free. An old ally. I was on my way to Emberville in hopes of finding an old colleague. Arcanus Keldenough was fascinated by the Withers. He studied them for years, hoping to calm their feral nature, or even cure them. One of his subjects escaped and ran amok in his royal gardens. Keldenough, or Keldenough, was ordered to cease his research and kill all Withers in, in his possession. He refused and was exiled. If Keldenough lives, he is near Withers, and Withers are drawn to old settlements like Emberville. Somebody has been living here recently. This scroll bears strange lettering that glows warmly, beckoning your hands. As your fingers trace the elegant symbols on the page, a voice dictates the words in your mind. It seems the Nightborn have elevated even simple note-taking to her source of his arts. Arcanus Keldenough was definitely working in this area. There must be more of his notes scattered around. Day 5. Wards prove effective at deterring the Withers, but do nothing for the cacophony of critters and beasts outside. The nights are so loud out here. I relish what little sleep I can manage. Tomorrow, I begin looking for subjects. Alright. I'm guessing I can't accept this one real quick. The small device of elegant Nightborn design crackles gently with arcane power. Keldenov's notes mention wards that keep the Wither at bay. It seems you found some form of spell casting that does not tempt the ravenous appetite for magic. These may prove useful in your search for the missing arcanist. Activate four of the wards. Right. Okay, more notes. We need to read this, Withered. Chill. Day 14. The new subject, number 16, is special. His arcane essence is touched by some mysterious power. I have named him Terin. A rewarding effort. The ward snaps to life, giving you a slight pinch. Keldenov must have put great care into developing a spell that would scare the Withered away without harming them. He built up like an electrical fence to keep the, to keep the vermin out, really. Me. Day 16. Breakthrough! Using Ferrin's Essence as the base, I've crafted a spell that calms the Withered. At least, it works sometimes. Day 24. Awoke to a Night Elf's blade at my neck. He asked what I was doing to the Withered. Searching for a cure, I replied. He merely grunted and disappeared into the woods. Keldenov's notes. Day 33. Low on arc wine. Ferrin making excellent progress. Shalan remains stubborn. Crystals becoming harder to find. Day 40. A massive Atten trampled through my workshop at Coraloon Manor. Scared him away with magic. I have a feeling he will be back. Killed enough knapsack. A bag containing countless pages of technical notes. Flipping through them, you find Keldenas' last journal entry. You bundle the notes and store them away in your pack. Day 50. The sky has turned black. Demons everywhere. And this hunger. This endless hunger. Subjects released. I can no longer protect them. My spellstone. Someone please use it to carry on my work. Alright. 
Uh, you bundled the notes and stored them away in your pack. According to this final journey entry, Keldenov used something called a spellstone in his experiments. The spellstone, if not the arcanist himself, must be nearby. That's a lot of Atens, right? And as you can see, Arcanus Keldenov uh, was first a Knight Fallen, but he was unable to... Um, he was unable to uh, supplement himself with enough mana. And as you can see, it turned him into a Withered. So we're going to uh, kick the crap out of him, make him hopefully see reason. Have I tried Archaeology yet? I got the... Uh, on the Alpha anyways. On the Alpha, I got the um, toy that makes everybody look like they're part of the Legion. The world conquered by the Legion. And I really like what they did with uh, Archaeology. I love that the shovel now pops up when you're close to the dig site. It's really, really good. Spellstone of Keldenov. Um, just a quest item. And here we have Terran, subject 16, the one he was talking about in his notes. And this withered seems in trance by the Spellstone. He is completed pacified. That, he, that needs to be completed, right? There we go. Alright, Fedin. You're completely pacified. Cool. A small tag hanging from a sleeve reads. 16, Tedin. It seems Tedin is still under the Arcanist spell. In the absence of Keldenov himself, a live subject could be useful in helping Talisa to unravel his research. Deliver Tedin to Talisa. Hello, I found this experiment. Can we um, use it? And who turned off the lights? Greetings. Hello. Talisa begins, uh, brings a hand to her gone cheek. My body has deteriorated so quickly. It seems we nightborn live each day upon the razor's edge. So, Keldenov turned in the end. He deserved better. Thank you for giving him peace. You're welcome. Keldenov's discovered something incredible. The power to subdue and even control the withered. I will pick up where my old friend left off. We shall see to it that he did not die in vain. Perhaps in the end we can even find peace for the wretches who have been left to a fate worse than death. I will need more subjects. Take Keldenov's spellstone and use it to subdue more withered. Unrather. I shall prepare a holding area for the subjects while you are away. Alright. And Tedden goes to chill downstairs. Excellent. Shall I get some Withered first? I'm gonna get some Withered first, because Withered is like a follow-up questline later on. So let's get us some Withered. Oh, that didn't work out. Come here. You get mind controlled. Oh, it actually costs mana to use now. Oh, damn, that's new. Well, okay then. Aran Arcana. Hello, I got your uh, Withered. Fascinating. Let us hope the spell holds. Anratha Adore. Uh, Withered Army Training. Speak with Salarisa to start training your Withered. Sympathizes against the Sheldera, among the Sheldari. Alessandra's decision to welcome the Legion into Sudamar earned her plenty of enemies. Though only some of us were bold enough to openly defy her. We have allies in the city. We just don't know how many. I need to make contact with a spell fencer by the name of Silgrin. He is loyal to our cause and has been lying in wait since our failed coup. He patrols the western edge of the city. Address him by name and tell him our cause is not lost. Be careful who you trust. So here we are at the workshop. Like I mentioned before, if you don't use your coin, he will actually teleport you far, far away. Shall I actually show it just for the fun of it? Let's show it for the fun of it. That is far enough. Well, you are not from the palace. And you are no demon. At least not entirely. Identify yourself before I teleport you to the depths of the Great Sea. So he gives you a moment to use your coin. But if you're like, nope, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. I did warn you. Tell Vajal. And you're teleported out over the Great Sea. I, I thought that was a very nice touch. I thought like, oh, there's actually uh, consequences to your actions now. And he will actually kill you as well. Don't let the purple shield fool you. Don't think like you don't need a bubble. No, you actually need a bubble. Otherwise, you're in for a long walk. Alright, take two. Uh, that is far enough. 
Well, you're not from the palace, and you're no demon it either, at least not entirely. What is this? A coin! <laughs> the sign of the Dusk Lily. This is the first Arcanus seal. Is she alive? Then there is still a chance. Come quickly! I need your help! And you can get yourself out by pressing leave vehicle, but let's let the NPC do it. Right, the trap. Nefana! There we go. Mm-hmm. You may deliver me to Talisra once my work here is complete. I hadn't the time to gather my instruments before fleeing the palace. I came here to salvage some equipment. This old workshop is actually several rooms connected by teleporter pads. Alessandra's goons are already scouting the palace looking for me. But from here, I can alter the teleporter network and keep them moving in circles. You go in. I'll monitor your position and ensure the teleporters work normally for you. Find these two parts and bring them back. The teleporter is just outside. Activate it first and then step on the pad. Will do. Hello, chicken. That chicken is such a cool mount. So this guy is also going to help us later on in our um, in our rebellion base by giving us teleportation pads. All of the teleporters work the same way. Use them to find the equipment. So this is like a mini game, and it sends you over different areas in order to find uh, his tools that he's looking for. But the palace is also looking for this guy. They want to take care of him before it becomes a problem. So you can teleport to the library, to the warp lab, and to the fountain. Now the fountain just sounds like a delicious place to be at. Here we're at the fountain. And I'm actually looking like you can see... This is currently not even on max settings. But you can see that the view distance has severely increased. I don't really want to tinker around with view settings right now. You know, it might cause a crash. We got a beautiful fountain over here. In case you're ever looking for, you know, that special little someone. And you want to share some chocolate cake with each other and a little bottle of wine as you look over the beautiful city of Sudamar. Now you can. Now you can. Little fountain in the background. I'm sure a lot of role playing and pos potentially a lot of dates will take place here. So we can go to Breakfast Nookie, Garden, Telemetry Lab. I'll go to the Breakfast Nookie. Wait, is there a book here? No, I need to go up. Oh! Strange, it should not have sent you there. Hang on, I'm recalling you. Someone else is tampering with the network. Telemetry is a delicate art. There's no room for amateurs. Okay, so the Breakfast Nookie uh, didn't take me anywhere, so let's go Fountain again. And then instead of the breakfast nookie, we are going to go to the garden. There we go. I mean, it looks cute and all. It's not what I want to be. Oh, this is the... Hang on. Fountain. And I'm just checking out the different locations. I want to show you as much as I can before we finish up the quest line. There we go. So here's one of his tools. And if you look over here, you can get again again get a glimpse of uh, Sudamar. Don't worry. We will be infiltrating it later on. And this city is freaking gorgeous. We, um, during the alpha stage, we checked it out with Eagle Eye. I honestly think it's one of the more beautiful cities that they've ever created. I really hope that at some point we can, like, rent a house in there. That would be great. But hey, we'll see. Oh, Nightborn. Hello. We are chosen to rule. I shall dispose of you, Lowborn. I ain't no Lowborn. I'm the High Lord. Just like everybody else. Could you stop hurting me, please? I'll cause an equality all over your face. Just for you. You better bow down to me. A weathered telemancy beacon. That is one done. So we did the fountain. We can go to the library or to an unspecified destination. Let's go to the library first. Something's wrong. I've lost your position. And now we end up on the moon. It's called the drift, but it's actually the moon. Whatever you are, it's unstable. The telemancy will not hold long. Whee! And this is going to be used in a fight later on. It's kind of cool. 
A curious discovery. Well, you will not find the equipment need in there. It was fun, though. It was fun, though. So now you're only giving me this option, yeah? Yeah. Alright. So we went to the fountain, went to the library. Uh, now we're going to go to the warp lab. And here... Again, nice view of the city. Other people already cleared the area. That's no moon! <laughs> Hello. I'm looking for equipment. You got any? You do? Nice. A cracked warp sleeve. Thank you, thank you. Good work. Bring them back to me at the workshop. Will do. Oculus. I did what you asked me to do. Salvaging the equipment here is necessary if I'm develop a teleporter network for Talisa. There, uh, these are in rough shape, but they will suffice. We must lock down the facility. Otherwise, my esteemed colleagues from the palace could uncover my secrets, which puts any teleporters I build for you and Talisa at risk. The inactive attunement device near Oculus comes to life. This will take us to my secret test chamber beneath the mountain. From here, we can begin the lockdown sequence and make our escape. Go ahead, I'm right behind you. But there's a quest over here. Was there a quest over here? I saw it just a second ago. Ah, uh, maybe a phasing issue. Alright, test chamber. Here we are, my old sanctuary. Strange. The defenses are offline. Uh-oh. I'll just lead the way then, yeah? <clears throat> oh dear me, we've been infiltrated. Intruders! How did they get in here? Now is the age of the shell, do they? We have been invaded, everybody. Okay, you all get out. I need this network. Get out. Can you stop that? Thank you. You guys hurt me a little bit too much, okay? Okay. You want to be a moon elf, yeah? This coil taps into the ancient ley lines. Crank it up to full power! Crank it up! Good. If we overcharge enough coils, the entire system will fill safe into a lockdown. There are more coils in the chamber below and more intruders, I imagine. Kill them all! And for one asking me what gives wisdom, of uh, what does wisdom do? Place the blessing on an ally. Oh. Twen! I should have recognized your uniquely oafish meddling on my network. My, my. Look rather gaunt on a teacher. Are you eating enough? <laughs> You should be proud. Your handiwork is going to help us reclaim every corner of our ancient lands. I could deal with twat. You overload the coils. Aye aye, Captain. Excuse me. I need those coils. So, Blessing of Wisdom, it gives... 1% uh, maximum health regeneration and mana per 3 seconds. And right now, you can see them go... Oh, yeah. They're supposed to fight in midair. I just don't see the other NPC. Oh, there he is. Urgh. Face it, old man. I've surpassed you. Good trick. <coughs> Warping the space around your body like that. But what if that space is already unstable? My warp field is not working! Where have you taken us? To the moon! Cough! Unstable space! Space? Space! Space! No arcane bolts, please. Thank you. 
Like really, there's no need for arcane bolts. It, it's perfectly fine like this. Is this actually Ezreal's moon? No, no, no. It's just an unstable area. This place, it must bend to my will. Twen always took magic too lightly. She was a terrible student. <coughs> I'm fading fast. Where is Talistra? Talistra is near River Rest. Can you teleport us? I haven't much left. <coughs> I will get us as close as I can. Come close. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. Did we make it? Oculus' eyes have dulled. His voice trembles. Are we... Are we close? So hungry. Urgh. And now, you get to pick him up. And you're like, I'll save you, old man. Oculus! Oculus! He is withering. And nearly choked as well. Drowned, even. Would you like to have him here? Plop. Alright, so Telemans is not doing really well. As you can see, he is in uh, desperate need of his fix. I just love what they did with his models. Mm. Our isolation has ended. Um, close enough. Thank you for recovering Ocula. He will be invaluable asset to our cause. Suramar must be free. And then this guy gets like a quest. And the mana that you pick up across the zone... If you give it to the junkies, they will unlock their quest lines. Ocula mumbles incoherently under his breath. Have some mana, dude! As you offer the mana crystals, they blink out of your hand one by one. Kills increase movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. Requires you to be in Sudamar. Blech! How do we live before the night well? Survey says... It is time to establish the first secure connection in our teleportation network. Take this beacon to the ruins of Elunef above us and survey the area to find a suitable location. Once your survey is complete, place the beacon and I will anchor a connection to it from here. Use the telemancy beacon to uh, make a connection. And apparently this is something new. You can also gain like a buff, in this case ward walking from this guy. It's gonna cost you 10 ancient mana. And whenever I kill something I'll get like increased speed. Greetings. And she doesn't offer anything. I thought I just saw like a buff option. That's kind of cool. We are only as how do you get mana? You might ask. All kinds of things. You can find it on loot. You could get it from quest lines. Uh, I think you could like pick up like flasks to increase your maximum amount of mana you can carry with you. Kind of cool. So here we're surveying um, for like the teleportation pad or whatever. I should mention the survey may reveal a few uh, telespatial anomalies. Maybe a warp time, a ripple or two. Maybe. You look uh, a wee bit tentacly. You'll take it. <laughs> you know it, baby. Survey complete. Now place the beacon. Okay. Survey says... This seems like a good location for the teleporter. Two-way connection established. Use it freely. The distance is short, so it requires very little power. So now we can use this to teleport back into the base, yeah? Yep. Nice. What else do you need of me? What else can I do for you today? Tap in the ley lines. The arcways were built to tap into the magical ley lines beneath Surumar. As we learned to subs subsist on the night well, the old facilities fell out of use. The arcways were built to tap into the magical ley lines beneath Sudamar. As we learned to subsist on the night well, the old facilities. Oh, so even in the past, they drank their mana from the ley lines. And then they got the night well and they no longer needed that. Alright. This chamber is clearly receiving power from elsewhere. There is only a trickle now, but if you can direct more ley line energy here, it will help to sustain us. The closest source to the north, near Anor Anora Hollow. Anratha Ad Remember. You can use the new teleporter to reach the surface quickly. Anora Hollow is somewhere north of here. What am I supposed to do here? Explore Anora Hollow. I'm exploring. I'm exploring. Is there something specific I'm supposed to find? I found a little jungle grub. Ah, oh, you're adorable. 
I mean, there is a gateway here. You there? Oh. Outlander, be a deer and step on that other switch, will you? Voice acting! Woo! There we are. Open at last. Well, I will be killing you now. Any last words? I'm the High Lord. I'm the High Lord. Power is out there. We need only reach for it. You may speak. Show Talistra's token to Voltois. Run along. Ah, I recognize that symbol. So Thalissera has recruited an outlander to our cause. Are we truly so desperate? Oh, very well. I am Valtois. I pronounced her name right on the first try! Out here so far from the Nightwell, we must settle for any source of magic we can find. It seems Thalissera and I had the same idea. The old ley line feeds might keep us alive, if barely. Voltois. We just have to wake them up. Voltwet. <laughs> Elisand was wrong to doubt our magic. And just who might you be? This station has fallen into disrepair. The circuit is broken, and to mend it, we must recharge the seals in the central chamber. Both a high-potency current and low-potency current are needed for each seal. Direct the currents to point at the same seal, then engage the seal. Me? I shall supervise. You are the help, after all. The arcane is in this <laughs> coil projects a high-potency current. You will find a low-potency coil at the far end of the facility. I like her Both voice Both currents acting. feed into the central chamber. Use the coils and switches to direct the currents and power all four seals in the central chamber. Are you done? Yeah? Cool. So we're gonna do a little bit of Zelda here, but I like her voice acting. It sounds cocky, arrogant. It sounds fits. Um, so what is she doing? The old ley lines. Yeah. <clears throat> so basically what they're trying to figure out is uh, they are now disconnected from the Nightwell. And... Um, they are trying to find some way to get like a steady mana thing going on. Which they will do with the ancient ley lines. So I need to put them on the seals. And I've done this before. This quest line just took a long time. Let's find out. Uh, let me spec into Divine Steed. You must be in rested area to change your talents. Of course I must be there. Why would I want to change my talents on the fly? It's not like that was the purpose when you introduced the whole switching talent system. No. You must be in a rested area to do so. Nope. I need you to be on the other line. Nope. Alright. Guess I'll go click on the purple beam then. What are my thoughts on Warrior gameplay in Legion? Uh, don't really have any thoughts, mate. I haven't tested it out enough to uh, give a proper opinion the about it. The are aligned. Now engage the seal. Yes, ma'am. I'm having a great day, Tempos. How are you doing today, mate? Fine work. Three more to go. All right. Now, I think you could do, like, two seals at the same time, right? At least I hope so. Nope! Nope! You cannot. Well, okay then. Um. So, it's either click on the blue one or the purple one again. Hmm. <sighs> Click. Wish I had a meter shield. So fucking bad. What is the highest crit that I've ever had in Legion? I think one point something million. But it happened with um, that happened with equality. Anything about Rex or Legion? Not that I've seen. It is done. The station is back online. Who's that?
Refined ley line energy will flow from here to Shalaran. Delicious. Power is out there. We need only reach for it. I must admit, I am impressed. You may actually be of some use to us. I know, I'm Farewell. amazing. Farewell. You are dismissed. I will huh? make my own way to Shaleron. Wow! You are dismissed, peasant! Wow! I love you! And bring the Outlander with you. In exchange, he killed himself. If you insist. What are we gonna do? You're gonna take me with you. Elisand was wrong to doubt our magic. With Leyline energy feeding in from Telenor, this chamber can begin to awaken. It will be a slow process, and we must take care to mask this activity from our enemies. A process which itself requires enormous effort and focus. Furthermore, there's a conundrum of actually consuming the mana in this form. A stream too weak is not enough to provide sustenance. Too powerful? It will vaporize us. Vaporize us. There's much work to be done yet. For now, let us examine the feed. Aran Arcana. And Valtrois. Valtrois. You will be wise not to turn your nose up at outsiders. None of us would be here without their help. Yeah, Valtrois. Of course, First Arcanist. Where was Kaelic during Fairmore? Oh. We can examine the feed from down here. Let us do the conversation first. Let do examine. you have much experience with ley line energy? I should think not. Allow me to educate you on the fundamentals. Far below us, rivers of raw arcane power course throughout the land. The ley lines are eternal primal, and impossible to control. Okay. However, just as one pulls thread from cotton, so too can we draw power from the ley lines. See here. This is the feed from Anora, and there are many others still lying dormant. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Not so cocky now, are you? Bet you had some mana now, huh? Shalasan Tora. Valtois does not respond. Her expression betrays a deep pain welling within. I will call upon you again, I'm sure. Increase the maximum amount of ancient mana you could carry by 200. Oh, good help is so hard to find. Yes. Um, aren't you supposed to give me more? We once nursed upon the very essence of magic itself, an elixir to rival even the well of eternity. To think we now resort to bottom feeding. Valtois curls her lips in disgust. The arcane is infinite. Speak with Frisa to start training your winner. Aran Arcana. Aren't you supposed to give me like the another Shaldurai quest line? will be redeemed. Do I need more mana to activate you or what? I don't even have any more mana. All right. That's weird. Did I accept the quest wrong? I hope not. I hope not. Um, okay. Right then. Here we are looking for... We are looking for Silgrin in Sudamar outskirts. Alessandra's decision to welcome the Legion into Sudamar earned her plenty of enemies. Uh, so basically what we've been working with so far are the Nightfallen. Those who uh, spoke out against the Queen and were exiled from the city. And they were disconnected from their uh, Nightwell. Now we're going to party with some of the Nightborn, who never really spoke out so loud, so they were never really exiled, but they still oppose their queen, and they still don't agree with their choices. And we're gonna recruit them into our rebellion. You have a lot of nerve approaching me, Outlander. Are you still grin? Hey! Hey! Don't you walk away from me! Either my legend is spread beyond the city, or we have a mutual acquaintance. Thalisra so lives? Come, let us talk in private. We should be safe to speak here for a moment. Many Nyborn have pinned their hopes on Talistra disposing the Grand Magistrix. Since she disappeared, dissenting voices have grown silent. We must spread the word discreetly among the populace. Lailef Lunastre will be a perfect ally in this. She is a socialite with many connections, and she is no friend of the Legion. 
Lilith hosts a masquerade party at our estates where rumors are traded like coin and brandish little daggers. Let us invite ourselves in. We shall use the garden entrance. It is! It is the darkest dungeon voice! Ah, oh, that is so cool. Enchanted masks. Simply don the mask, and a magical costume will envelop your body. It should be enough to fool the other guests, but stay clear of the guards. Oh boy. I will find Lilith. You stay out of trouble. That is... Just enjoy the party for a bit. You know, mingle. I'm sorry. I can't listen to that voice and be like, why are you not testing my faith? Why are you not telling me that everything's doom and gloom? That's pretty sweet, though. So we're infiltrating the party. We're gonna mix and mingle, you know. It's gonna chill a little bit. Hello! Sigh. I thought for sure I would have had the most exotic costume this time, but it seems I've been outdone once again. <sighs> Demons, am I right? Roll your eyes. Excuse me while I pretend we never met. Wow. I tell myself I was socialized at these parties, but I always end up lingering about the desserts. <laughs> How can we be free in the Legion Shadow? Psh, table behind the house. Lady Lilef is waiting for you. Oh, he said psst, not psst. Okay, this sorry. This is not up for debate, Anaris. You are either with us or against us. Choose wisely. I will heal no more of your scheming. You endanger everything our father worked for. Oh, dear child. Do you not realize what he died for? Greetings. Hello. Ah, you must be the outlander Silgrin has told me about. Pleased to meet you, Lady Lila. Well, aren't you charming? I know. I am the cutest. I am the cutest, thank you for noticing. I will honor my father's name. Pleased to make your acquaintance. That must suit you! In Sudamar, it required advantages, advantages to be someone else for a time. As my darling sister has demonstrated, Alessandro's decision to bring down her shield has sown unrest among the Nightborn. Loyalists and demons march together in the streets. Fear and distrust grip our hearts. Family turns against family. I will help to at least stir a new rebellion. But first, we must deal with Anaris. I do not wish to spill the blood of my blood, only to help her see reason. Anaris is likely brooding over her father's memorial. Bring her to me, alive. Farewell. Our father's memorial is just around the corner. I'm sure you will find Anaris nearby. Anaris. Anaris. My bad. And here we have one of those teleportation paths. The telemancy beacon is deactivated but intact. Some ancient mana should get it back up and running. Infuse the telemancy beacon with ancient mana. I need a hundred of that. Do I have mana? I don't think I do. Nope, but if I had mana, I could empower it, and then it would become a teleportation pad directly into the city here. It's kind of nice. Uh, oh, hello! I'm sorry, did I disturb you? I was told to bring you in alive, so if you could just, like, cooperate, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Uh, just finish me off. Come with me. Lilith wants to speak with you. Oh, you're in trouble now. Rant Rantus Lunastre, head of the house Lunastre, father of Lilith and, Anna and Alanares, whatever you want to say, yep. Died in honorable service to Grand Magistrix Alessander. I doubt that. I doubt that it was an honorable service. Off with his head! Look who I found. Good day. Hello. Glonanora. She is supposed to say something, yet she doesn't. True. You will have to make an appearance. I think in the original one we actually got some conversation about... You will never be able to convince them without me, and I will never serve you. And then we're like, okay, we're just gonna steal our image in the form of a costume. Yes. Thank you. Now our work can begin. The people will rise. Our family commands great respect in the city, thanks to my father. 
Through my network of contacts, we can organize the citizens to prepare Sudamar for Talistra's return. You must walk among the Nyborn. You must earn the trust of her friends and foes alike. You must become someone else. Let her hand you a shimmering party mask. Put this on an an iris. Farewell. Plop. Greetings. Hello. My little sister is about to turn over a new leaf, whether she likes it or not. Time to put your new disguise to the test. Your first contact is Vantir, a merchant from the common district. He's in a Grand Promenade today visiting one of his suppliers. Tell Vantir to pay me a visit regarding a shipment of dusk lily bulbs. He will understand. Beyond that, we will need time to repair. You should return to Talisra. Lila hands you a cork bottle of faintly glowing fluids. Give her this, with my regards. We will call upon you soon. I will honor my father's name. Hmm. Neat. So now we get a costume and we can make ourselves look like her sister. We actually become a nightborn. Vantir halts his conversation abruptly as you approach and eyes you suspiciously. Anaris, what do you want? Are there no more demon boots left for you to lick? Lilith would like you to visit her regarding a shipment of dusk lily pods. Wink, wink. Dusk lily pods? I see. Please excuse me. I must address this immediately. Um, I will free Sudamara from the Legion, but first I must regain my strength and we need a plan. Have you made contact with our sympathizers? Here you go. Got some uh, crack in a bottle for you. It's the good stuff. The Lustre family is well connected. They will be a great help to us when the time comes. We are only as strong as our will. And are now friendly with the Nightfallen. Excellent. Talisa brings a hand to her gone cheek. I've changed so much. Blah, blah, blah. Arcane Communion. All of Keldenus' experiments to connect with the Withered failed, and some even made them more dangerous, until he found Terran. His arcane essence, the very soul of the Shell that I, has been touched by something special. But what? By weaving my arcane essence together with Terrans, I can create an empath empathetic bond. <laughs> this communication will be his soul to us all, or what's left of it. We need only to feed him mana, and lots of it, in order to begin. Suramar must Celestra, be free. You cannot be serious. Wasting your time on this creature? We should be planning our attack on Suramar. That is precisely what I am doing. Hi there, Epsilon. How you doing, buddy? I have made mistakes. Epsilon draws in rasping breath. <gasps> I want to make it right. I want to live. But the madness, the withering. I. I'm fading. Epsilon stares at you helplessly. Give Epsilon 100 ancient mana. Do I have 100 mana? I got 52 Epsilon. Damn you, you. Mana junkies are needy. Damn. Murgle, Murgle, Murgle. Finn gesticulates wildly. Gesticulates? Murgle, 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 Murgle. Finn looks at you expectantly. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What? Do the thing! <laughs> Julie, do the thing! Was that the thing? Do you want me to do this? Oh, nope, oh, nope, definitely not that. Thank you very much, Dolphert. Do you want me to uh, recipe surf? Combine the two halves of the Sudomar surf and turf recipe. Uh, I was thinking about Pokemon surf. I was like, can I surf now? Do you want me to click on the clam? Oh. Oh. That. Oh. Your fingers are caught in a clamshell. <laughs> Pearl Hunter Finn chuckles, then shakes their head in shame. Shame. Want me to do this? Yes, that was the thing! He wanted me to pick up the speckled pearl. So shiny, so precious. Finn grabs your shoulders and hops happily. <laughs> Finn shows you a flaw on the side of the pearl. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do it. Finn makes a pinching motion with his hands. He wants me to do something with the pearl. You want me to fix the pearl? Zero out of four. 
Argum, argum, argum. I, I, I'm gonna follow you, Phil. Or Finn, even. Finn, lead the way, buddy. Where are you going? Are you going over there? Okay. Am I supposed to kill crabs? Oh, I do. Okay. Shannick! Crab oil. Alright. I did the thing. I got you a crab shell. Jaw drops as it stares at you, bewildered. I got you a claw. Eyes roll back in his head as it sighs heavily. I got you the oil. Hops around in frustration. I got you some sand. Excitedly grabs the sand and begins scrubbing the flaw on the pearl. Anywho, Murgles of Endearment. Murgle, 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 Murgle. Oh, good. We're gonna meet the family now. Hello. Murgle, Murgle, Murgle. Ah, oh, he presents the pearl to Mr. Murgleum. I love your daughter, Mr. Murgleum. I have loved her from afar for a very long time. I love her, and this pearl is a token, a sign of my love. But Mr. Murgleum knocks the pearl down, cracking it. Mr. Murgleton is not having any of it. Mr. Murgleton is not having any of it. His daughter will not marry this man. This daughter, this pearl is not good enough. So maybe we need to find a better pearl. Murgle, Murgle, Murgle. Pearl Hunter Pin makes a stabbing motion. Oh shit. We're going Game of Thrones up in here. <laughs> It's Red Wedding time, everybody! And Savu Bram is now hosting me with up to five viewers. Savu Bram, thank you very much for the host, matey. That's very, very kind of you. Alright! So who are you, the proud Murloc sent, that I should bow so low? <laughs> oh, you're all gonna die! You're all gonna die! Oh, nope, apparently not. Ah, shame. I thought we were gonna kill him, mate. I thought we were gonna go let Red Wedding now. Nope. <laughs> Not Mr. Mustache. <laughs> uh, conspicuous dirt pile. And luck for with the host. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind. Runs over and begins digging fur furiously. Hops around impatiently. Alright. Murgle, 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 murgle. This quest line is amazing, by the way. Begins digging furiously, around impatiently. Pulls out a handful of long fangs from the pile of sand. Uh-oh. Are we... Are we arming him? Is that what we're doing? Oh! Oh! Something happened here! <laughs> um, what did you do? So Mergelina is dazed. Murglergler points at the trail of spiderwebs leading out of the ruin. So, someone splooched all over Mrs. Murglum, and they kidnapped Daddy Murglum. And that someone is, is partying with us. You don't, don't, don't deny it. I see what's going on. And we need to find a trail of spiderwebs, or follow it even. But why do that? Well, you could just follow the markers on your map. Here we have the Felderai Hunters. For those who haven't seen these models yet, these are like spider Nyborn hybrids. Some say that these are the bug rays accompanying the Zoth. I don't know. I don't think you could call these an Akir evolution. But hey, who knows? Okay. Are you gonna get him out? Oh! Nope, not the one we're looking for. And we did it! We saved Mr. Mustache Man! And now he has proven his worthiness towards the family. Did we reunite them? 
Alright, I'm going to be happily forever off, sir. Mario, 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 Mario. <clears throat> Champion, you have proven the worth of this young child. He tried to buy my daughter's love with petty pearls and shiny things. But we all know that love does not come from a gift. We know love comes from the heart. And this child has shown us that his heart is great. His bravery even greater. Thank you, champion, for aiding us here today. Me, Mr. Mustache, and Mrs. Bowtie. We will take care of these younglings. And they will have many, many Murloc babies. I just roughly translated for you there. <clears throat> Ah, Mr. Milgram just said you. Then they shake their heads and look at the pearl hunter Finn. He wanted to pawn her off to me, dude. Not in a million years. Although, I mean, your mustache is enticing. Are you uh, looking for a replacement? I too could get a bow tie in my hat. Just saying. Can you help me? Is there nothing you can do? I got your mana, Epsilon. Epsilon immediately consumes the ancient mana and seems incapable of speech for a short while. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna join you, mate. I'm gonna join you. Let's crack it up together, shall we? Mmm, mana. Mmm, mana. Works better without your helmet on. Let's do it again. Mmm, delicious mana! The darkness lifts. Thank you. You're welcome. Was that it? You're not gonna become an NPC? I left the city to find my daughter. She was one of those who dared speak against Alessandra. She's gone. I thought I would join her in the ruins as a mindless husk. But you! You saved me. You're welcome. I will seek shelter now. I hope we meet again, friends. Hello, Epsilon. Your kindness has inspired me, friends. I thought I would wander forever among the empty husks of the withered. But the least that I invited me in. I've chosen to remain here with my people, and together we will take back Sudamar. For now, I have but one request. Take this letter to my wife. She should know that I still live, among other things. Give her the hope that you gave me. Deliver the letter to his wife, and then you get some 50 ancient mana. And now this letter, you might say that's private, but hell no, it's not. <clears throat> Dearest Noressa, I'm right to tell you that I'm still alive. The kindness of the very stranger before you spared me in exile's fate. Treat them well. Regarding a daughter, forgive me. I could not find her. All evidence suggests she succumbed to life outside the shield. Words cannot express my grief. I cannot tell you where I am, nor can I return to you. This is a difficult trying time for our people, but I must stress to you, there is still hope. I cannot risk exposing my saviors, but help is coming. Just hold on! Love, Epsilon. Alright! <laughs> Reading it in front of him, right? Uh, so I need like more mana for Terran, right? Yeah, 147, I needed like 300 for his butt. Hello, Noressa. I have a message from your husband. Noressa eyes you suspiciously. Here you go. Epsilon is alive. Yeah, he is. I was so certain he was dead. Glances over the letter. No, you gotta read it. Don't glance over it. You gotta read it. Oh, Epsilon. Thank you. I will hold his words in my heart. Whatever you do, don't eat the fruit in the bowls. That stuff is terrible quality. If you want to taste the finest Sudamars to offer, allow me to show you two flavors. That fruit over there, that's a pale imitation to what I can grow. But that accursed duck leader somehow manages to gain the favor of courts, so we must dine on mediocrity. Mediocrity? One day I will learn how to pronounce things. We must teach duck leader a lesson for stealing my crop, but we must be discreet. Outside the shield grows a purple flower called Shadow Bloom. Fetch some for me, and we'll make sure that he pays dearly for his insolence. Blast of spice fish. I have, a, I have an ingredient that will make my fruit irresistible. 
not many remember the delicacy of Manitro liquor. Mana trout liquor. <laughs> I'm Frenching things up now. Oh no. <laughs> Mana trout liquor. It's punch in the aroma, the unctuous mouthfeel. The toads near the northern river concentrate this additive in their gizzards. Fetch some stomachs for me, and we will have plenty. No, to be honest, like I don't want to go into too many spoilers for that because it kind of falls under the raid testing. Uh, just know that some allegiances are going to change. I'll leave it at that. There he is. Ian confirmed it. Well, there you go. Fishing artifacts. I was about to say there are so many flowers to pick, but these are actually part of the quest line. I knew that. All right, Mr. Uh, Moongrow, if that is your real name. I did what you asked of me. I would avoid eating any food until you've washed your hands. Here you go, some Shadow Bloom. Excellent. This will be enough for my purposes. I got a blast of spice fish. Daglir is young and foolish. Manatrout was completely fished out of our harbors. Since the shield was raised, all we have had of the liquor is memories on our pellets. Fruits of the Doom! Now it's time to strike. Shadowbloom has potent digestive qualities. Go sprinkle some on Declare's fruit balls and watch the show. Meanwhile, I will use the Manatrout liquor to cement my position as the premier fruit vendor in the city. Poison free boils, bowls of fruit. Curse you, fruit vendor! So we're just going to poison the people for you, huh? Okay, sure, why not? Um, and then watch the show. Are we gonna see people vomit? Because that's gonna be amazing. Would anybody like a... Uh... Oh, you, you, you would like some fruit, yeah? Barf, 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 barf. Oh, nope. No barf. I have been discovered, though. Fruit of the Doom! Victory tastes sweeter than any dish. Even one of mine. Ducklayer is sure to be ruined. I have already begun to hear rumors that he's a traitor in League. With the night fallen, he and his allies were concocting a plot to poison Alessandra. That will teach him to mess with a moon grow. In order to locate and purify the source of the corruption, I'm going to need an elemental focus. The turtles around here have developed skills that can focus and amplify their inner magics. Bring back some mana shell skills, and we will have these waters purified in no time. Are the waters corrupted? Oh yeah, they are! They are corrupted with mana. Okay, we got a skill. Oh yeah, we're also working towards mana. Jesus, I still need four skills. Stop killing me, turtles! It's only a side quest! Alright, Rivermane tribe person, I did it. Remember, the skills need to be whole to be of any use as a focus. These will do nicely. Something in the water. There's something fouling these waters, Paladin. We will need to purify the waters in order to restore balance to the elemental forces below this ruin. The magic air was warped, has warped the elementals, and they are beyond restoration. Release their corrupted form so that they may be reborn pure. Purge the unclean. Do you feel it in the air, human? The stage is set for us to make things right. While you were busy, I was able to track down the elder elemental that rules these waters. Its name is the Azure Fall Guardian. <sighs> and it resides in the channels below Talanor. Take the ritual focus, it should help you during the battle. You just tuned in. What is happening? In short... Nightborn allied themselves with the Legion. How dare they? Time for rebellion! We're working on the rebellion. Why are you not dying? Oh, I need to use the quest item. Of course I do. Purge! <laughs> Purging too strong. Purging too strong! Mayday! Mayday! Okay. Let's see if we can purge the server again. Can we purge it? Ah, oh, no, it was just random. Lame. Long time YouTube subscriber, first time Twitch watcher. Welcome, Mr. Jangles. Hope you have an amazing time, mate. Eh? 
Come on, then. Perch. Yeah, you better kick me in the air. We'll pretend like it wasn't. We reported the blizzard. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. Oh, you actually explain who you are. Greetings, little one. I am Morhun, and I have been studying the waters of my land for years. This area is troubling. The waters are clouded and corrupted. Something in the water. Now that we cleared out the corruption, the fresh water elementals will be able to flourish. Yay! It is done. Already I can feel the corrupting presence washing away. Thank you, Noble. You have done this place a great service. And we get some ancient mana for that. Ah, oh, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Alright, we have found a new quest giver. Theodris Feathersong. Who are you? Why does a human come here? This place is not meant for strangers. It is, was, a sacred place for my people. Or what my people once were. The Lost Advisor. You may as well assist me while you're here. I require a potion to be made. One that will set things right. I must conserve my energy until my task is finished. Lest I become like these miserable wretches scrabbling at the cobblestones. There's coin in it for you. Since I will not be needing it soon. The harpies around here cannot resist Cliffhorn. It is what drew them to tell Nanor in the first place. You should find plenty just outside the building. Sudamar is... Was an intellectual's dream. We studied everything in there. From alchemy and the arts to the very nature of magic itself. How could we be so foolish as to accept them in? Look at me. Lost in the clouds again when there is much to be done. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Look at me. Lost in the clouds again when there is much to be done. My work requires some fairly difficult ingredients, human. Perhaps you would help me procure them? I'm going to need some harpy talents. Crushed into a powder, they will be a potent reagent. Austerity returns to Telenor. And my ancestors can rest once more. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember Fedamore. Desco was in the class hall. I could have sworn that he was part of the follower menu. Alrighty. This is your little Clifford. Are you gonna pick it up? Are you gonna pick it up? Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. No? Alright, I'm gonna pick it up then. Oh, look at that. He's actually moved to this place. Oh. Look at the city, human. It's beautiful and it's tragic. We were cowards to hide beneath the shields. Azeroth was in our care, and we chose to abandon her. We failed our sacred duty to protect the world, and our shame is too great. Do you have what I require, human? We don't have much time to spare. There should be plenty. Talendust loses its potency fairly quickly, so we must make haste. Here you go. Tedris seems lost in thought as he gazes towards the city of Sudumar. Poke, poke. I got your Cliffhorn. Tedris stirs from his thoughts as you approach. These will be sufficient, human. Cliffhorn is a deadly poison. It would be perfect for my needs. <gasps> Don't off yourself, mate. Sturmar is lost. Our leader struck a dark bargain, accepted the Legion as our allies. We were meant to be heroes. Guardians, the people resting here. We are not like them anymore. I cannot live with them. But cut off from the night well. We wither and evolve into a mindless existence. An existence without release or dignity. As you can see even here. I reject both of these options and file myself here. I will find a third way. Don't off yourself, mate. There's another way, Tedris. We have a refuge not far from here. Talistra's there. You don't have to do this, buddy. Talistra escaped? She always was one of the more rational ones. I'm glad that she did not stay and join the Grand Magistrix in her road to damnation. Still, it is hopeless. Our allies are few and scattered, and our enemy has gained a powerful one. We cannot possibly stop the combined forces. Come now, there's much to be done if you would earn my coin. Very well. Honeyed words from a stranger. While comforting, they do not shake my resolve. Come, at this rate I will wither before we are through. Do we need me to kill you? I used to visit here before the barrier was raised. While the ruling council and the Grand Magistrate argued and politicked, I watched the caretakers perform their rituals and venerate the dead. I would honor the spirits here on one last time. I am headed to the tombs. If some of the sacred oils, burial shrouds, or incense survive the ages, then bring them to me. Okay, got a flask of sacred oil. You have the spoilers tag up, have you not? I do. 
just kidding. Um, Flask of Sacred Oil. The skin is heavy and has a fragrant smell. Delish. Okay, a Shattered Burial Urn. The beautiful elven burial urn is shattered scarcely on the ground. It was clearly handled roughly, but not scratched by the talons of the harpies. You find a trail of shards leading towards a cave. Those responsible are certainly within. Tetris will be interested in the relics and their safe return. Ooh, 100 artifact power. Wow, wow. All right. Generous. Very generous. <laughs> all the love, everybody. Oh, not at all, Fender Pregnant. I'm just... Do I sound bitchy? No need to say sorry. I'm just trying to uh, explain the situation. Didn't catch it. A bundle of preserving incense. Which says... Uh, surprisingly dry and undamaged. Always nice. Um, can't really use equality right now. So what can you do? Come here. Whose side am I on in today's ice hockey match? It's Finland versus Canada. Uh, which side are you on, mate? Why didn't I use that? I don't know. Mud Knights, ah! attack formation. Come on, come on, stupid lag. Yep, I'm blaming lag again. Phew. Phew. Okay, so here's his chest. Chest of shrouds. Uh, this chest is sealed tight and very lightweight. Neat. This is where we remember General Star Talon. One of the finest generals our people has ever known. He commanded the Hippogriff Riders during the War of the Ancients. I used to visit the tomb often to meditate for guidance. Wonder if I will see him. Did you find anything? I did. Truly a testament to our preservation techniques. I had lost hope that anything would survive looting and descent of time. The ancestors will be pleased with this. What do you have there? These relics are tokens and mementos of the former lives of those interred here. They like to be remembered. They like to be remembered and these offerings keep them in the eternal peace. The spirits of the fallen will be at rest now. You have my gratitude and get 100 artifact power for that. The last chapter. The next step of my journey requires a tome. But I find that I am still unable to idly sit by as this place continues to fall into disrepair. I will tidy up the memorials or you go fetch me my tome. It is called the Encyclopedia Botanica and you can find it in the library near the main plaza. Ah, uh, all I see is despair. Look human, the grounds are overwhelmed with these ra reefs. Is that how you say it, reefs? I sure hope so. Spirits of those interred to here. Something has made them angry, and they are lashing out. I can feel their pain. I will go look for, look for remaining relics, and there's a tomb I must see. It is too late for these unfortunate souls. Please defeat any you find, and return them to rest the day, sir. You're almost ancient mana kept. Didn't I need like 500, or did I only need 300? Because if I only needed 300, then you are absolutely right, and we should return right away. Um... I think you're right, to be honest. We need 300. Okay, let's return to the back cave. To the back cave! I will have... Feed you 300 mana. Enjoy. Our isolation has ended. Arcane communion. Good. Let us see what we can learn. Terran is at the mercy of his own mind. Whatever you find in there, it may be difficult to control. And we need your help to sort through the visions. So be ready for anything. With any luck, we will discover what makes Terran special. And whether there's anything left of who he used to be. Help to least that I complete the Arcane Communion with Terran. Be careful who you trust. Let us begin. Come along, Theron. 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 Oh god, it's again the Ufig. The Theron. Narthala Vas Manari. I feel them. His memories. The day he was exiled. Dismiss these memories so we can proceed. 
Oh, he had to leave his wife and child behind. Oh. This hunger, this fear. I too have felt it. Let us move on. So here we see him slowly devolve. Thala Narvalas. Such confusion. Such rage. I... I am losing control. Well... Let us uh, get rid of these memories then. Come here. Come here. I'll fix ya. Come here, final memory. Ah, make them stop. Please make them stop. Oh, wow. Voice acting. Ah! I... I've said it once, I will say it a hundred times, voice acting makes it so much better. There are a couple of times, a couple of voiceovers that makes me go like... Enough! Wow. There. You found something, didn't you? Something which gave you peace. A peace we so desperately need for ourselves. Delisera, are you alright? I... I am fine. Like I said, sometimes a voice will be hit and miss. Like Lord Walker Cho, for example, is a wee bit too much Cho. But in instances like this, it elevates it, man. Oh, so good. So good. One day at a time. Uh, scenes from memory. The Withers. Not only do they suffer a burning thirst for the night well, but their own memories torture them as well. Truly, a fate worse than death. I do not know what Ferin found, but I know where he found it. Moonshade Sanctum to the west, beyond the Temple of Faladora. Whatever power altered Ferin's arcane essence. Whatever power allowed Keldenov to create a spell to soothe the Withers. Its source rests there. I know this as surely as if I have been there myself. Explore Moonshade Sanctum. Anratha Adore. Mmm, looking for a book, looking for a book. Looking for a bad book for a nearly dead guy. He's a wee bit suicidal. Alright, this is the book. Collected by M. Stormrage. Oh. It's a book written by Malfurion! Neat! So during his time that Malfurion was trained by the demigod Cenarius in the ways of the Druids, and as he was fighting the Legion, he also had time to write a book! That is quite impressive. You were turned into a pile of ash. You're not supposed to be that, but whatever. The last chapter. Do you have the tome, human? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose, if you're assisting me with my task, I should learn your name. Tedris reaches into the book and pulls out an unfamiliar dry plant. Thank you for fetching me another one of the ingredients. Your assistance is... Welcome, noble. It pains me to see them suffering. In time, they will return. But for now, they will be at peace. I cannot call Sudamar my home anymore. And I refuse to become a withered abomination. There's no place for me anymore. Don't you understand? We'll need one last ingredient to complete the elixir. You will help me, won't you? We may have a way to stave off the hunger. Long enough to find a cure. Let us help you! Do not be afraid, for I am not. I will soon be reunited with my lady love. These heroes that surround you were men and women just like me. They too had their own loves and vice, and they understood the meaning of sacrifice. Let this be mine. Tedris shies. Perhaps you're right, Noble. I've been so tired and weary with the shame of our people. I believe that I had no path, no recourse. 
Truly, it would be impossible for me to atone for our actions. I am no hero, despite what you may think. I am simply an old man who has seen too much for one lifetime. What we do now? Your arguments are not without merit, Nobble, but they remain steadfast. The potion is complete, Nobble. Soon our journey will be over. There is one last thing I would have you do for me. Then you shall have your rewards. My wife's bow was kept here, but I've not been able to find it after searching everywhere. There's potent magic in it. I fear one of the restless spirits may have taken it. But it will take a powerful force to pick up an item such as this. Be careful. Latara! What has happened? What have you done to me? Ah, oh, his poor wife came back from the dead. Wow, alright. Blood Knights, on me! Heh <laughs> Um. My mind is cleared. I will sleep now. Give Fedris my love. Yo, Fedris, you won't believe it, mate. Your wife was here, then I killed her again. It was amazing. What was that? I heard a familiar voice. It couldn't be. But it was. You saw Latara? What happened? I see. I'm so sorry I failed you, my love. It's okay, Tedris. I must confess I was not entirely honest with you, Noble. I meant to drink the potion and join my wife. No, no sh s. And even she was taken from her rest. I cannot fail her again. I must live and do what I can to stop this coming storm to be worthy of joining her. Come, young one. Let us take care of the happy matriarch. Oh, the harpy matriarch, even. And restore Telenor to its former glory. We cannot let this poison go to waste, eh? Hello, matriarch. You will pay for attacking my daughters. I have not attacked your daughters. Wasn't me. It burns! I will flay you alive! Wow. First the cave dwellers. Now this. Cave dwellers? You mean, uh... Widows, yeah? Oh! <laughs> I think Tetris at some point wanted to join the hunt, but it was a little bit over too soon. Sorry, Tetris. Thank you, Noble. You've given me clarity or of purpose and a reason to live again. Together, we will save Sudamar and atone for the sins of my people. I thank you for giving me a newfound purpose. I will meet you at Shalala, uh, Shalaran. I think I will be needing a source of magic after all. Mm, here we have Iron Grove Retreats, which is part of a quest chain. Hello. My Runa Moonwing. Moon be with you. I'm just gonna pick up your quest and I'll be back later, yeah? Greetings, stranger. My Runa bows to you. We arrived from Valshira a short time ago with hopes of settling here. Our journey was not easy. We are wary. These all cats have made a mess of our camp. She can surely see. Would you be so kind to assist us with cleaning up? Or perhaps you can help us establish a new moon well. The stars guide you. A new moon well? Lovely. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed, first arcanist Talisra says. Arcane communion forms a bond that transcends physical space. Of course it does. Yeah! Ferrin says. I should do my best to keep Ferrin off the line. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh goody, it's another light beam quest. Alright, so this is what uh, Ferrin encountered. And apparently this is what made him special and allowed that other guy to work with him and try to get the Wither back on our side. You recognize the relic from Felisra's vision. As you behold the relic, Felisra's voice echoes in your mind. You found it, but it is sealed away tight. Search the room for a way to break those seals. Okay. Uh, so one seal is there. One seal is there. If I hit you, what happens then? Okay, there's one seal. And I'm gonna click you again. Oh, spider came down. Hello, spider. Oh, you're such a pretty, creepy model. Why was Stormwind called Stormwind? Just curious. Because of the stormy winds that were better against his walls. Like, it was a really stormy area there. 
I don't recall where I remember that description, but I'm pretty sure that that is the reason why they call it a storm wind. There we go. Voila. Years of Legend of Zelda training prepared me for these moments. Is there some beta giveaways here? I wish, Corvin. Negative, buddy. Alright, Moonshade Relic. As the magical barrier begins to fade, you hear the rustling of leaves and the clattering of mandibles just outside. Oh boy. Oh! Wow, cutscene. I also didn't ask though, Buxney. So... It's not really surprising, right? Hello? Excuse me, can I help you? Let's not do that. Couple of hiccups here and there. I'm surprised how stable the beta is compared to that it's a Sunday. Okay, are you gonna open up? Oh no, no more spiders. They just keep coming. Oh, are we picking favorites now? <laughs> Hello, Vilwaker, Vilwalker Ferrodin, who showed up and probably saved my butt from the spiders, but instead the spiders also stole the weapon. How may I help? Do you have any idea what you have done? Not really. I have protected that seed for 10,000 years. You let it fall into the hands of the Feldorai. I should have let you die. Repay your debts. Help me get the seed back. So this is probably the night elf that they talked about earlier. If you remember the scientist that was working together with uh, the Withered. Withered or Wretched? One day my mind is going to make up its mind about that. He was probably the one that showed up and in a journal he was like he put a sword to my throat and then just walked away. So you know. Um, so we're going to help him out and we're going to get the seat back. Come, the Feldorei make their home in the ruins below. We gotta be sneaky beaky like. Hello. Hello, we must move swiftly. Orafis has underestimated the seed. It is sapping her power, slowing her down. We must catch her and get the seed to safety. But what is the Asha seed though? Fella. What is the seed? Like, what does it do? What are we doing here? I'm missing pieces. There she is. Foolish surface dwellers, be gone! She must not open the seed! Grr, persistent vermin. Hello, Arafis. What you doing? So I wonder, what is that seed all about then? What does it do? Why did it make the Wither so special? I need to know! I need to know. Oh, there are excess powers coming out now. Mana cords. Lealdrin, do you want to help a hand? Charge! Oh yeah, thank you. Patience, noble. I don't have no patience. About to say, did I purge the server again? But no, thankfully not. Okay, so this is where the questline bugged out when I tried it during the alpha. So this is also going to be new for me. Hope it's gonna work. Energy pulses around the ancient seed. The seed is awakening. Without power, it will quickly wither and die. We must carry the seed out of here and plant it somewhere safe. I'm not strong enough to bear this burden, but you, you are brimming with power. I can sense it. Please take the seed. 
The passage, this passage will lead you out. Look, I got a seed! I got a seed, I got a seed. The ancient seed is leeching power from you. Oh, is it actually taking my health away? No, it's actually giving me health. Oh, that's out of combat, of course. Okay. Not far now. Is it taking my mana? I know you've been rebuilding the old teleporters. The beacon here will connect us to your shell that I have friends. Hmm. Okay. Ah, the temple of Fala Dorin. Those halls once glowed with prayers to a loon. Quickly, you must plant the seed. I imagine there's less hospital now. Hold still. I will get you out of there. Place it here, where it can drink on the ley line. Or of the ley line, even. Quickly, you must plant the seed. I'm coming, dude. The seed sits perfectly atop the stand and sinks in with a satisfying click. Increase the maximum amount of ancient mana you can carry by 300. Let there be lights. So we're, plant we're building up a new world tree. Neat. An hour. Okay. Greetings. Hello. Aran Arcana. I mean, I need to know. I'm listening. We are only as Shalasan Torah. What's next? No. What's next? Alright, so here we need to help at the camp. Because apparently they can't tidy it up themselves. I fled Valgerin during Yasira's attack on the temple. I was lucky enough to find Mifandros on the road. Greetings. I came from a village just outside Ashelanir. It was a narrow escape, I will admit. And here we have a curious owl kitten who's messing up everything. Let's get the bench back up. The nightmare followed us wherever we went. It was not until we crossed into Sudamar that we escaped it. Silly nightmare. And here, once you look on here, the NPC is just like, no! And Curious Owl Kitten is like, knocks the cup off the table. You're like, he doesn't give a shit. And you're like, gah! Alright, Owl Kitten, let's clean up the spill gray now. Shoo! There were more of us when we set out. I would have died if it were not for my runa's arrival. We owe our lives to Mephandos and his druid companions. We can call Sudamar home thanks to him. And me, I cleaned up everything. Thank you for your help, stranger. It means more than you know. You're welcome. Apparently you're quite the hero yourself. I am honored. All is in its proper place. We are that much closer to being settled. May the stars guide you. As we retreated from Valshira, our company was briefly separated by a conflict with some satyrs at the border. One of our own did not make it here. Mephantoros' brother, Kalendros. I would like you to try and find him if you could. Search. All is in its proper place. We are that much closer to being settled. May the stars guide you. As we retreated from Valshira, our company was briefly separated by the conflict with some satyrs at the border. One of our own did not make it here. Mifandros' brother, Kalandros. I would like you to try and find him if you could. Search the woods just before the bridge back into Valshira. Go in peace. Hello. Greetings. The first step to establishing a moonwell is to gain the blessing of the local wildlife. It is their goodwill that enables us to peacefully coexist, and a moonwell fri moon well thrives on such energies. Combined with Valoon's light, a moonwell can purify its surrounding for years. To begin, we must find creatures willing to give their blessing. We can start with these owlcat creatures. They ran while you cleaned, but I saw one lingering just before the bridge. So you can find out where it lives. Goddess, watch over you. Here, kitty kitty! I will meet you on the other side, alright. Here, kitty kitty kitty! Where do you live, Owl Kitty? Meow. Lost Owl Kitten slowly raises his head and looks around. Spots you and scampers away in fear. Meow. Don't be afraid. There you go. What an adventure. Ha uh ha. -huh. Owl Kitten raises his nose in the air and chirps in recognition of its surroundings. 
Oh my god! Whoa! Hello, Daddy O! Ah, uh, we brought the little kitty home. Cool. What brings you here? Well, this is an uh, interesting turn of events. Good luck, friend. While you were dealing with the stray owl kitten, I took a look around. It seemed. God damn it! It seems these curious creatures have a habit of escaping their parents' watchful eyes. Some are trapped across the road by a wandering Etten. He appears to have been. Ahem. <clears throat> eating them. He uh, we can earn Yaolan's blessing by bringing his children home. Till next we meet. There we go! We brought the final kitten home! <laughs> it's over! <laughs> it's over! Oh dear, it's done! How may I help? Uh, they look so happy to be home! Excellent work! Teaches you how to summon this companion. Be careful. <laughs> Your kittens are safe, Yaolan. Will you grant us your blessing so we may share this land with you? Well, Yaolan leans downward to pluck a feather from his ankle tufts. Yaolan deposits the feather into Madranel's palm. Thank you, your highness. Kalendros Iron Grove, how you doing buddy? How good of my Runa to send help. I nearly lost hope. Till next we meet. I cannot, will not accept what is happening here. My body resists me, but I will stop this. He looks at you. You will stop this. Here's the root of the corrupt world tree, Shadow of the Seal. It has somehow found its way out of the ground to, to this untouched place, and already the Dark Fiend satyrs are hard at work corrupting Sudamar. Stop them. Kill the satyrs, take their horns, drive their points through the totems. Only then can we have any hope of reversing this. Oh, nice. Artifact power. Light your path. I'll take it, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so I took care of their totems for ya. The loom be with you. Ah, It's very kind of you, Sissy. Um Much love everybody. Uh I am relieved. Though there remains more we must do. We get a purified Seder totem. Powerful magic still pulses from this totem. <coughs> Good luck, friend. Take this torch, Noble. We cannot reverse the nightmare corruption once it's taken hold. All we can hope to do is destroy its manifestation. Shh. Incinerate the roots. Only then can we rest easy in Sudamar. Incinerate the Shalader Sail roots. So the nightmare for Shalader Sail actually rooted itself all the way from Valshira into Sudamar. Ah, oh, cool. I like that they chose this part, like it's just the edge of Sudamar, so we just catch it. I like that. Let's burn it. Something horrible gonna happen. It is done. I will dispose of the ashes and find my runa back at camp. Thank you, friends. That was it. I thought like a horrible creature was gonna come out. Maybe Xavius' form or something like that. Nope, just burn it. Alright. The only choice we can make. What a disturbing deal. Asha Fela. While you were busy assisting the Alcats across the river, Mifandros and Solendra ventured further to the east. I believe Mifandros may have found the next creature that may offer us its blessing. There is a secluded glade along the river's bend to the northeast. There you may find our new ally, an elderly stag named Red Hoof. Goddess, watch your Yay! Neat. Ishnu Allah. This, this fine gentleman was just telling me how dearly he loves his forest. Let us assist him. Like, I might be able to talk Murloc, but this guy could talk with, like, Sablehorn Elders. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Blessing of the wilds upon you. Fertilizing the future. Like most herbivores, our antlered friends will eat anything green enough to chew. However, I have noticed that they seek these patches of dark grass, given a preference. I believe we could begin to earn their favor if we aid the forest in producing more of this most nutritious of stag food. I provide you with seeds. All you must do is locate suitable growing soil and plant them. Our magic will do the rest. May the stars guide you. Now, Noble, do not mistake me. I am a druid. I understand that nature has a balance. Predators must feed and others will be hunted. I also understand that tempering with such balance has consequences. That is why I've taken up myself to walk this land and perform some, uh, calculations. Slay only a small number of the wolves you find, and one alpha. That should reduce the numbers enough to allow the Sablehorn to thrive without disrupting the flow of things here. 
Mm -hmm. Be careful. Uh, blessing of the wilds upon you. Uh, they are looking better fed already. Goddess, watch over you. In the end, they will all fry. For with more sable horn, the wolves will eat better in the years to come. Yeah, we only have to massacre their families. Don't try to make this better. Come on now. Good luck, friend. I'm sure that those young are like, Oh yeah, thanks for killing my mom and dad, dude. Now we're gonna eat better. Fresh green food grown and our enemies are fewer. We seek only your blessing in return. Carefully digs into the soil with a hoof. Red hoof peers at me fantas expectantly. What is this? It's a flower. I be with you. Ah, he gave you a flower. Oh my, a rare bloom indeed. What brings you here? Thank you, noble red hoof. We accept your blessing and give our thanks. My friend Selendra Featherdown went to explore the habitat of the native night sabers. Now that we have the blessing of the Feathermane and the Sablehorn, it is time to seek the blessing of the night sabers. She is just on the other side of this glade to the north. Welcome, human. Be careful. The final blessing. This place is so full of life. I have walked this land in this time since our arrival. Here, basilics have emerged from the ravines to the east. They encroach upon the home of the night sabers. <clears throat> To earn their blessing, I believe we should clear the way uh, for their return. Slay the basilisks that have taken more than their fair share of the land, May human. The stars guide you. Mana gazer. There is one basilisk here who has gorged himself so thoroughly on nightsaber flesh that he seldom leaves his cave. We will use this to our advantage. Seek out this basilisk mana gazer and use his death and his example to the others who are strayed from their home. A sharp fellow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Druids are brutal, man. As a druid, I understand that pre predation happens. Creatures that eat meat must acquire meat, but this. Solander gestures angrily toward a nearby petrified night saber. This is just sad. Freedom, human! Take my blessing and freedom from this needless torment. Okay. Good luck, friend. You are not sponsored by G2A, the last one! <laughs> Observe the wild novel. Last of its kind. All others have been absorbed within the G2A. But not the novel. Oh no. Be free, little night sabers. Be free! See, cold fist. What is that monkey that appears that when you fight? That is my trinket. It is called Precious Ooken Coin. And my abilities have a chance to spawn a hose in the fight with me. Hello. Am I not supposed to save this kitty then, or are you gonna save this kitty? Well done, human. Farewell. Such a gluttonous creature. Be careful. I am much relieved. A shah fell out. We have. Oh, our efforts were not in vain. The Moon Whisper matriarch watches from afar. Oh, here she comes. Oh, damn. We have three blessings from the creatures we share this land with. Combined with the blessing from a loon, the Moonwell will watch over this land for years to come. Meet Mifandros at retreats. I'm sure he would like to include you in the ritual. Meow. Deposit a shiny, smooth nightsaber fang onto the dirt. May your hunts be ever fruitful, my sister. Cool. May the stars guide you. You're not gonna save this kitty? I will bring the blessing to Mephandros directly. See you there. Why are we not saving this kitty? Oh, I, I mean, I could have saved him if you just made it clickable. No? All right. Welcome back. I see we are ready to begin. A loon light your path. You've done very well, human. All that is left is to combine their blessings into the ritual bundle and imbue the moon well. Once it is done, my runa will add a little water from a purified moonwell, and this land will be protected so long as we inhabit it. It's Fluttershy. Ah, okay. This is a momentous occasion, my friends. You bear witness to a sacred rite, not often performed in the company of strangers. I will let you do the honors. Simply place the ritual bundle into the sacred waters, and we will do the rest. And we're gonna get some mana for that. Be careful. Delicious. Contains an owlcat feather, a stag antler, and a nightsaber fang. Smells pleasantly of spices. Ooh. That was it. <laughs> it is done! Yay! 
This moon will nourish and protect everything around it. We can finally call this place home. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. That was it? Okay. I am honored. Your assistance made this all possible. Thank you. Go in peace. Hello. If you're heading east, there's something I would ask you. While we struck camp, some of our caravan left to scout around the city. Lil Rear Dawnwind has been gone too long. I would be most grateful if you would go check on her safety. She said she was going to scout out the ruins of Dawn Clefts. Good luck, friend. Oh! Who goes there? Oh! Whoa! OP OP! Thank you for the welcome distraction. You're welcome. So Renis looks you over. You're not one of them. The Nightborn came to our gates hours after the shield of Sudamar fell. We fought them friends despite our long separation. We were wrong. They poured into our strongholds and began to slaughter. We were unprepared. Though we fought, we were beaten. And the keep is lost. Our leaders have perished and their corpses lay in the streets. Find them. Give to their final rites. While you search, look for survivors. Help them if you can. The moon guard, eh? I will take this opportunity to lay traps for the intruders. I'm certain we will meet again. Now, if I remember this area well enough, this was pretty damn brutal. Nyella Starweaver of the Moon Guards, dead. I could not protect them all. I need to kill one out of a hundred Nightborns, but I think that's the Hippogriff quest. Oh, Moon Guard Sigil. That's always nice to have. The smooth square sigil weighs a fair amount more than it appear appearance would suggest. Handling it suggests results in an intense tingling sensation in your palm. This is an object of focus pure power. Such an advantage should not be so easily surrendered to the Nightborn. Collect two, seven of the Moonguard sigils. Over here, I haven't much time. Ivano Meadowsong says, I've been watching you. You are not with them. Ivano coughs quietly. I'm not long for this world, but there is one thing I would have you do while you're here. The hypocrites here still fight bitterly to defend their home and their companions in the moon guards. They have not accepted that the guard is no more. Please, send them away. Let them know there's nothing left for them to fight for. Go! Go away. Just listen to this random person. Be gone! No! The guard is no more. Yup. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've never been here before. Noise. Last remnants of the moon guards. Oh, wow. Look at the griffin, man. Cool. And they are Kylia Windfeather. Oh, that's the one that gave me the initial quest, isn't it? Oh shit, I didn't finish up the quest. No! Oh wait, I need to do her. Yes! I didn't make it in time. I will join my fallen brothers and sisters. Goodbye, L goodbye, Lyria. Fate of the guards. I thought the moon guard could endure anything. I guess not. New cloak. Oh yeah. Clipping ahoy. What is this? You were wise to keep these out of our enemy's hands, Paladin. I believe you can be trusted. Thank you. I feel better knowing they will not continue to sacrifice themselves for us. You're welcome. We should have seen this coming. My sister is dead. My friends are wounded. And we will likely die here. I want revenge. Lirere li re Lirea hands you a vial full of growing green liquid. We cannot beat them, but we can turn the stronghold against them. Wild hippogriffs are attracted to the scent in this bottle. Wild hippogriffs are also notoriously violent when the object of their attraction is not a hippogriff. Use it to clear a path deeper into the stronghold. Nice. Nice. We're gonna use pheromones. Nice. Let's do it. Do not come back for us. We are already doomed by the Nightborn's betrayal. Psst. Nightborn, catch! Oh, I said catch! The Illidori cannot be stopped! Wow. How dare you! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, he's not letting go. Oh, there we go. Down in the water you go. Nice. All right, Big Buck. Buck Beak. Really? Buck Beak. Big Buck. Okay. Buck Beak. Big Buck. <clears throat> How you doing, Hagrids? I heard screams, and I was gratified that they belong to the Nightborn. Well done. Death to our enemies! We need to... Big Buck, no! If it weren't for Big Buck, what, what, what would have happened? Big Buck turns and charges towards you. Ignore him. I need to find... I need you to find Lofrius. We were separating the attack. Oh, Big Buck actually attacked me, apparently. Okay. I think he's still holding out at the Athenaeum. I was with Lofrius when the Nightborn poured into the stronghold. He and his constructs managed to get the majority of us out of there. Out of the uh, Athenaeum. But he was cornered before he could make good on his own escape. I know he still lives. I feel it in my guts, but I cannot go back for him myself. My injuries are too severe. Please find him. I hope in my life. It's not much, but I can hide you from the Nightborn's vision for a short time. Go, quickly! Give me a moment to cast the enchantment upon you. Thank you. There, I will not be able to follow you into the uh, Athenaeum, but if you need another glamour, you can return to me. Be safe. Recovering stolen power. My injuries will not kill me, but I cannot fight. I have my own idea of how to deal with the remaining Nightborn. They destroyed the defense matrix as soon as they arrived. You'll see they still carry fragments of the spell focuses. Collect them, combine them, and then find a hippogriff. They linger throughout the strongholds. These loyal beasts will take you to the skies and take care of the rest. Ah, so we're gonna get the item that I needed previously in order to get on one of those griffins. Alright. We got a ley line down below, and then the rift between right here. Hello! Elemental summoner. The fuck? Lofrius moon color of the moon guard. Serena sends you. Good. She still lives. Sometimes I forget how talented Serena is. Welcome, as it were. It is high time we dealt with these intruders. My precious books. Precious little lefts. I've not been able to leave the safety of my guardians to search, but there are three tomes of great importance to me and mine. They contain secrets and cantrips that the Nightborn must not obtain. Lofrius raised his hand to your forehead. Cementing the names of three tomes into your mind. If we cannot best them, we must preserve all we can. Hurry! Locate his books, and we get some artifact power for that. Lay waste, lay mines. They ransack my library novel. If they want our knowledge, we will give it to them. This piece of ruined work will allow you to cast an ensnaring spell on the ground. When the Nightborn cross the threshold, they will see the true might of the Moon Guard. Teach them well. Be wary, my friends. Their constructs do not seem at all affected by my ruins, alright? The Nightborn are here in force! As if that were not worrying enough, they now bring reinforcements. I've seen them opening large portals to Sudamar. Through these portals, they have called in their constructs. They are immune to much of my magic, and so represent something of a stumbling block to rejoin the others. Find the portals, and close as many as you can. Alright, everybody, come here. Come here, I'm done playing around. Come here! There you go. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a great time. What am I standing in anyways? I don't even know. Oh, look. Combine 10 spell focus into a volatile spell focus and I can ride a griffin. Magical manifest of the moon. A dog-eared tome describing the complex relationship between lunar phases and spell effectiveness. Click the portal. Just a tip, baby. Just a tip. And let me refresh my buffs before they run out for a change. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> uh, Anthology of the Guards. A detailed account of all Moonguard members from the Order's creation. Extremely old. Nice. Aftermath of the Well. A handwritten account of the events following the Sundering. Oh, I wouldn't mind reading that one. Man, I can't read that one. I thought you needed to complete the story, but it seems it's much longer. Yeah, we completed it. Apparently it is much longer, but... Um, I thought that the whole rebellion base was going to be the main hub, right? 
And I was really hoping that I was going to lead into something, but apparently there are some... Red crumbs here and there. Um, so if we go into Legion... We have like these storylines for Sudamar still to finish. Holy shit. Holy shit, that is so much. <laughs> wow. Well, buckle up buckaroos. It's gonna be quite the journey. Um, uh, though more Nightborn still pour in through their portals, they will not soon forget the burn of the Moonguard's Wrath. Nice leggings. I will see to it the Nightborn end their long isolation as defenders of Azeroth, not conquerors. Uh, nice. We got our spell focus. Recovering stolen power. And it did nothing. All right. Oh, wait, hang on. Got a gift for you. There we go. Uh, my precious books. And precious little left. Did you locate them? Sure did. Thanks, the Mother Moon, they survived. Grants 100 artifact power. Nice, nice, nice. You found them. I will have them properly preserved and sent somewhere safe immediately. Yes, I can feel their spells receding. Soon I will be able to rejoin Faurinus. And lay waste, lay mines. How fair is the education? A lesson we all must one day learn. Never assume your enemy's dead until you see their corpse. Lovrius Grins. <laughs> I will take these tomes to Faunus. There is one thing that weighs heavily on my mind, and I would like for you to attend to it in my stead. My wife and life partner, Sirana Starweaver, resides in the Starweaver Sanctum across the bridge. It fell shortly after the Nightborn entered the stronghold. <clears throat> if she still lives, she will need to know of her efforts. Her power is sorely needed. Give her my best. I will be along shortly. Touching the crystals with some of my guardians to you. Make good use of it and go swiftly. Okay. I still finished the recover stolen questline though. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. The volatile spell focus hums with energy as you hold it. Handle with care. Only with this item in your possession will the hippogriff allow themselves to be mounted. Mount a hippogriff. Okay. Oh god, they respawned. Oh no! Run! Charge! Out of my way, fools! Did you see that? The crystal actually was in the way. It prevented me from <laughs> Oh my god! The, cr <laughs> the crystal that is supposed to save my life <laughs> was standing in that pack. I didn't see it. They dazed me, and I died. How do I do it? I have no idea. Nah, my tombstone would say, Here rests Nubal, true to his name. And then a little side note from me saying, It's not Nubal, it's Nubal! Where are your mana fiends now? <laughs> what? Who needs mana fiends where you got griffins? Okay. Hello, waifu. You in there? Whoa, time bubble? There. Lofrios magic called to me. He must still be alive. Quickly, you can help us rejoin the others. Did you just use my time magic? Lofrios and Taurinus live then. There may be some hope yet. Thank you for braving the bridge, stranger. You're welcome. The Nightborn deceived us. The Moonguard will soon be lost forever. Conjurer a Falarian must be stopped. He immediately sought out my father's private study when he arrived, and he has not yet emerged. I worry that he may have found a very dangerous item. It is called the Astromancer, Astromancer's Keystone. Words are hard. It is used to manipulate the stronghold's defenses. Such magic was meant to protect the Moonguard, used for any other purpose, and it becomes unspeakably destructive. Retrieve the Keystone. Slay Conjurer Falarian to get it if you must. Do you see the Nightborn outside this room? They hold us here like mice in a cage. It is more convenient for them that we are pinned down while they search the sanctum for my father's relics. My companions and I can escape the higher ground with some help. Take this crystal. While standing on a mana focusing ruin, use it to overcharge a conjurer. Their summons will turn on them and create an opening. Use it well and we will meet you atop the stronghold when the way is clear. Okie dokie. We will move when the way is clear. Your bravery is worth more than you know, friends. 
So I need to stand on one of these. And click. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Pulsing with overflowing energy. What? Cool. Hindering anomaly, suffering arcane damage, attack and movement speed slow by 30%. And he did indeed get the Astromancer's Keystone. There you go. No, then, where were we? Sorry, I got interrupted there for a moment. <clears throat> is it done? Yes, it is. They had no right to this power. Thank you. 200 ancient mana. ka -ching! We were able to make it here safely thanks to you. You're welcome. This is all that remains of the Moon Guards. Take a good look. We are but a shadow of our former selves, and we have the Nightboard to thank for our demise. For now, there's nothing more we can do. If we want to live, we must leave immediately. Retribution can wait. Leave Moon Guard Stronghold with everybody. Mm, we meet again. Lofrius and Sirana have just informed me of your deeds. We've also decided that it's time to leave this place. The Moon Guard are no more. There's no saving our beloved strongholds. They will be upon us shortly. I can teleport us somewhere safe. Here we go. I detected a strange signal coming from this place. It's Nibor magic, but it called to us. It's the rebellion. Sweet. Come, I see an opening in the rock. Sweet. It, it's all connected. All connected. Love it. Alrighty, look. I found new allies. One day at a time. Last stand of the Moon Guards. I called them here. I will see that they are taken care of after the horrors my people put them through. Anratha Adore. Okay, Lil Ria Dawnwind. Be careful, human. The Nyborn are emboldened and leaving the borders of their city. Scouting the Crimson Thickets. You could not have arrived at a better time, human. Stranger, you must help me. Night Eyes, my old friend. He was scouting ahead and I heard him cry out a warning. I tried to run after him, but in my carelessness I stepped in this trap. He's so close, just on the other side of this ridge. Please find him. <gasps> Over the rock. Oh, Night Eyes. Treparodon is fighting with Night Eyes. Night Eyes is one of those owl models. It's a trap within a trap, right? Servers are still a little bit laggy, though. I'd expected it to be a little bit quieter this early, but all right. I got a collar of domination. Your mind feels fuzzy in the mere presence of the collar. You must find Night Eyes. I got the collar. Thank you, human. I will tend to Night Eyes wounds. Tell me what happens. Do you have just a second for me? Gotta, gotta, gotta take care of the kitty cat. Gotta take care of the kitty trap. There we go. Oh, Night Eyes is actually a night elf? What? Wait, Night Eyes is actually a Night Elf, so Night Elves can turn into the Owl form? New Night Elf form confirmed? Cool. Thank you, human. I will tend to Night Eyes wounds. Tell me what happened. The Nightborn are using magic for everything, even trapping. Night Eyes saw them at work, laying down magical snares to capture prey rather than the kind our people use. Bring me their traps so that I may study their make. The trapper you slew was but one of many. The Nightborn are subjugating the local creatures, creating a sort of pleasurable exhibit. I think we can strike them in two places at once. Descend upon these trappers, human. Let us teach them a lesson in respecting prey. Koi? Druids have an owl glyph. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Cool. It's gonna be fun. Come here. And pow! Right, I did what you asked me to do. Do you have the snares, human? I sure do. These devices are peculiar. They are like the traps our hunters use, but can magically attract and trap nearby beasts. Well, that's handy. 
Excellent work. They do not respect the Huns, so they must be reminded of their place. Put them down! I believe her wounds have healed enough. I will continue my scouting. Be well, Lyria. Bye! Have a good time! Are you gonna give me a new quest, or... Was this it? Night Eyes has gone out on patrol again. I pray he stays safe this time. So, hopefully we'll encounter Night Eyes again. Hopefully. Let's see if we can find more quests. Yes, quest! Hello, Toreo! Go away. Paladin! Interested in earning some coin? The Jarl of Jandvik is missing, and two headstrong whelps are vying to take over leadership. I should be the next Jarl, not them. I want you to enter Jandvik and defeat Galdir and Einar in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! I would not normally put my trust in an outsider, but this situation requires the aid of someone like you. Jandvik would condemn me if I were caught with the blood on my hands. Meet me in the center of Jandvik when the deed is done. Okie dokie. I warn you, my kin do not like outsiders. You'd be wise to avoid unnecessary confrontation. This is Jandvik. You're not welcome here. I'll be the judge of that. Get me lower, get me lower, get me lower. Ah, oh, too low, too low! I already died. Oh, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Uh-oh. Leodrin, help! Blood Knights, on me! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, that will never stop amusing me. Ah, oh, they're hurting me! With my, adversary, with my adversaries gone, I can claim leadership of Janvik unopposed. You seem to follow my commands well, noble. Perhaps I can use you again. Jarl Frondir, the leader of Jandvik, has been missing for some time now. I assume that he has fallen in battle to the invading Shesternaga, but I must know for certain. Find out what has become of him. Do this task for me, I can assure you that my Vrykul will not harm you. Kill the intruder! A human! Destroy the paladin! Uh-oh. I'm guessing that she's supposed to say something right now, like, Stand down, man! Or something. Oh! I don't trust her. I don't trust her. I'm guessing that Toril is supposed to say something like we can trust this uh, person. Didn't happen though. Um, Find out what happened to Jarl. Oh! There he is! There's an exposed ley line. Yada yada yada. Hello, Brandolf. And Jarl from there is kind of dead. From there mutters through a shallow breaths. Poison. Runs through <gasps> my body. Do not let my body lie <gasps> in the mud. Set my flesh aflame. Collect six. six collect six. Yep. So collect six driftwood in Azure Gill Bay and build a funeral pyre, pyre for Jarl. Find wood to construct a pyre. I will take care of moving his body. Hello, Brandolf. A legion of these Naga could not overpower Jarl Frondir. Only their venomous treachery could defeat him. You are the one that Toril was bellowing about. Perhaps you can help me. When I set out to search for Frondir, I was not alone. Free Vraiku, loyal to Frondir, also accompanied me. As you can plainly see, plainly see, I now stand alone. Find my kin, Nobo. I cannot bear to think that they also share Frondir's fate. Away! Bite of the Sashtar. If I had been by Frondir's side when he fought the Naga, he might still be alive. These serpents will regret the day that they decided to sliver from their watery hole. Killing them is not enough. No, I will honor Frondir with a necklace of Naga fangs. You are wise to depart. Muddle Deep Cavern. Hello. Anybody in need of saving? Oh yeah, you are in need of saving. I see that you are no ally to this Naga, Yuma. Human, get me out of this cage. Katarina has been saved. I must find Jarl from there. Yeah, he dead. I'm sorry, he dead. The sea calls me home. Here we have Stockholfjör. Who is holding down the fort? Come closer if you want to die, Naga. I like your tattoos, bro. By the horns on my head, I will kill every last one of these Naga. I am no Naga, stuck. I come on behalf of Brendolf. Brendel's alive! I must go to him. Kura Akar. 
You can be prisoners for the tide, mistress, now, or I can slay you now. I'll, um... I'll send a sacrifice to you. How about that? Here, have Liadrin. Charge! Liadrin, you missed the target! Damn it, Liadrin! Did I find out more information about Karazhan and Daladan? Nope. Can I give you a key, please? Have no keys, mate. Now's our chance! Kill the Naga! Oh, now you guys join in! Ah! Vile slime! Gratitude, stranger! You're welcome. Fjörlrik! The Vrykul seems to be unconscious. Try to rouse the Vrykul. Why did you kick me, you mongrel Fenrir? You are no Naga. Where's Brando? Okay, one more driftwood. Okay, so we built the guy a funeral pyre. Oh, I still need to. I still need to make it. Oh, we're actually gonna burn him. Well. That was a quickie. Vondir was not just the leader of Janvik. He was also an honorable Vrijku. He taught me much, and I always aspired to be as great as he was. Vondir deserved a more honorable death. Heel, Jarl Vondir. <gasps> May your soul find its place in Valhalla's. Hail Jarl! Hail! Band of Blood Brothers, my kin are safe. Let us see to these serpents. 151, 122. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. And don't come back! <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. I spit on you! I spit on you! We will slay them all! I will wear this in honor of Frondir. Be gone! If you detest these serpents as much as we do, I ask that you continue to fight against them. That would mean fighting them in a watery domain. I don't see any gills on you, so we're going to have to, uh, to concoct an old tonic used by Vrykul fishermen. The ingredients are plentiful around here, taken that you do not mind picking through in entrails. <laughs> Yummy. So for those wondering what we're doing right now, we are getting a watery buff so we can take the battle to Zinaga. And teach them not to mess with us, as we always do. They just never learn, do they? I love equality. I don't care what anybody says, I love equality. Yes, I will help you collect what we need. Did it! Brandolf mixes the concoction together. Well, I never said that it would taste good. Bottoms up. Grants water breathing and increases seafloor movement speed by 80% while in the bay. Be gone. There's no place that the Sashtar can hide from you now, Noble. They will not be expecting a direct attack at the waters. This is a perfect opportunity to cut down their commanders. Meet me, Janvik, after you've slaughtered them. Nice. You are wise to depart. I must return to Janvik. Cool, so now I have a buff, and I won't actually die from underwater breathing anymore. Yay! Ooh, tentacles. Trenchwalker envoy. Yo, wait for me! Wait for me, Nepal! No! Tagged. Close one. Damn, you're doing some damage, by the way. Wow. Alright. We must inform the type mistress. These are sea giants in the bay. There are sea giants in the bay. You must tell Toriel about this grave news right away. Toriel, I found some sea giants in the bay. Commander Maltis was conferring with a sea giant. Without your help, this village will surely fall to the combined force of the Sashtar and the sea giants. Toriel stands there quietly for a moment. Maybe an underground cave out in Azurgil Bay. I want to show you something that may turn the time of this battle. 
Secret weapon? Without me, Janvik will stand no chance in this battle. Come quickly! Watch out! This is an imposter! Reef Lord Raj... What? Toriel yells, watch out, this is an imposter. And it killed Kel. Okay. I'm so glad that you followed me here, Noble. I was afraid that you may have stumbled upon my plan. What's going on here, Toriel? I should thank you for doing my dirty work, Noble. But now you're proving too troublesome to keep alive. You will die in the name of Sashtar! Whoa! Your eyes look cool! I am gonna kill you though, but I kinda wanna see what you do. You don't really do much, huh? Okay! Without his leaders, I will easily destroy Yanvik from within. My Naga will wash over the Yanvik in a tidal wave of destruction. So I'm guessing that uh, this total that we work with was an imposter all along? Enough! You will never stop us. Yanvik will fall. So not only did we kill some Naga for her, but we also killed their leaders? What? Or did... Hmm? Hang on. Get me out of this cage. We're gonna find out. I do not know who you are, but I must thank you. Oh, so yeah, we have been working for an imposter all this time. And we're gonna get 100 artifact power. When the Naga brought me down here, I saw many of my Vraiku mining the seafloor. They had squids attached to their faces. Whatever those things are, they must be controlling my kin and forcing them to work for the Naga. I do not know what will happen if you remove the squids, but I would rather my Vraiku die when be slaves to the Naga. See me in Janvik when the deed is done. You did well against the Sea Witch, but not well enough. Her power far surpasses any creature that I've ever fought. To defeat her, we will need something formidable. Something that she will not expect. Oh, she grins. Something of their own design. Salvage as many parts from their harpoon launchers as you can, carry, and meet me back in Janvik. Okay, and Kel says... There are others. Kel barely manages to speak. That Naga witch has given many a back in to the sea giants. Brightek was the last one I saw alive. Find him quickly. The type mistress is filling her ranks with hawking Naga and sea giants. Janvik cannot withstand their combined might. Slaughter them before they reach its shores. Find Brightek. Kill the Naga. Excuse me. I've come to rescue you. I am free! Oh goody, it's the mind control tech again that they used in uh, Vajir. Lovely. Oh look, we were also finding a Reef Lord. Hello! Didn't even notice you there, buddy. Hi, Lunar! Given how Blizzard has been trying to... Big us up lately, how likely do you guys see prestige classes being a thing eventually? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we got another one of those keys, this is not gonna work. Smack! Be free, little Vraiku, be free! Fjorik uh, doesn't seem to be doing so well. Nobo, I did not expect to see you down here. The Sashtar are rallying against Janvik. I had a plan to decimate them using the old powder kegs. The Naga proved more formidable to these old bones than I thought. Fjorik coughs out some blood. We haven't much time to prepare. Oh, uh, thankfully you get like a whole bunch of those um, harpoon parts where you kill only one of them. That's good. Excuse me, Mr. Giant. <clears throat> I was told to kill you. Puny human! Look, did you not see my title? I get a feeling that none of these NPCs ever see my title. They never recognize me for High Lord. So sad. You useless worm food! Are you gonna float up? 
Nope, you stay down. Man. Bonjour, Fjorik. I got you your stuff. Move quickly, Noble. I did. Fjorik looks at you weakly. You made it back in time. Can you feel it, Noble? The waters churn with approaching Shastar. You must strike now. Leave me. Find a way to bombard the Naga with the Kex. Protect Janvik. Ride a paddle foot and kill 50 of the Naga using the sealed powder Kex in Azure Gil Bay. Okay. And he dies. Of course he does. Uh, Bubble Guy. Hello, Bubble Guy. I do not know who you are, but you are not a sea giant, and that is enough for me. Paladin, the sea giants have already eaten half of my kin. We are helpless in these accursed bubbles. I beseech you to get us out of here. Take heed, these bubbles are strong. You will need something that is extremely sharp to pierce them. Collect a piece of needle coral, and then rescue five captured Vraiku. Away! Needle coral! Sea Warden, the sea warden made a deal with the type mistress. She handed us over to him like a kettle. I despise the sea giant. If I were not trapped in this bubble, I would choke the life out of him with my own two hands. If you cross his path before I get out of here, make him regret ever making a deal with the Naga. I need some lovely little coral. Then I'm gonna poke them in their bubble. I didn't hate Fajir, but it was just... Um my main issue with Fajir is that it takes a long time, and they didn't even finish the storyline. I spit on you! What? <laughs> Morning key, UTO! I only wish that I had a chance to get him first. Bleh. His body can rot in these waters for all I care. You are wise to depart! I will uh, depart! Huh? Come on, Vraiku. Get out of there. I did not need your help. Well, excuse me, princess. I did need to help you. I need my loot. Uh, cool. I'm on turtle now. Yo, Naga, catch! What is this? Detonates a powder of keck before it lands on the ground. Oh, neat! I'm on a turtle. I'm on a turtle, on a turtle, on a turtle. Dropping some kegs on your head. Snibbling pig! We have the Sestar on the run. Timing is everything. Fjorik died in honor of Janvik. We will remember his bravery. <laughs> the Sestar forces are far greater than I imagined. I can get increased damage dealt by Blade of Justice. Or... Ah, oh, hell yeah, I want this one. And don't come back! It's even an upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, oh, what? No, not that one, that one. Clink! Nice. Now is the time to destroy the Shashtar and rid Janvik of their presence. I must express gratitude for the Vraiko you saved this day. The Type Mistress is a dangerous foe. We must be just as cunning to defeat her. You have all the parts you will need, too, in some cases. The Type Mistress has fallen back to the Elven Ruins and is licking her wounds. Her guard is undoubtedly protecting her. To best her, you will have to break her defenses. Construct a ballista, using the parts tissue salvaged, and end her once and for all. Okay. I can do that. Olaf, Yagin. And we have the Sester on the run. The Sester forces may have dwindled, but the Type Mistress has surrounded herself with her fiercest Naga. This is the time to strike a final crushing blow against the Sester. If we can defeat them now, we may finally break the back of this menace and save Janvik. Squid out of water. Toriel told me about those squid creatures that are controlling my brothers. I have never seen anything like them before around Janvik. The Naga must have brought them from wherever they came from. Uh, I do not want any more of my kin to suffer the fate of being controlled by the Naga. Find out what those squids come, where those squids come from and stop them. You are wise to depart. Okay, so I finished up the ballista. Hey, Onaga, you thought it was funny, wasn't it? Killing me like that. Not laughing now, are ya? Uh-oh. She's coming right for me! We have the Sashtar on the run! We may have finally overcome this Naga threat. 
Then I will not be taking any more of my kin. <laughs> you have done it, noble. You have slain the type mistress and saved Jan Vic from the Sashtar. Yay, 300 ancient mana. Citizens of Yunvik, get around the fire and hear the glorious news. We have lost much at the hand of the Sashtar. Calder, Einar, and Jarold for Rondir have all fallen to their treachery. Hail the glorious deaths! Hail the fallen! We all owe a Yunvik salvation to one brave paladin. Glory to noble, slayer of type Mr. Sashtar. And open of doors, don't forget. As sole remaining elder of Yunvik, it is my duty to... Lead Janvik into prosperity. For this, I proclaim that Noble is the new Jarl of Janvik. Oh hail Noble! Oh hail me! Yay! I am a new Jarl. Liana Dark Sorrow. A captive demon hunter floats in stasis in front of you. Her soul slowly draining into the harvester crystal. In order to release her from the stasis, you will need to destroy the soul harvester. No, that's not the quest. There's currently a bug going on. Oh well, here we go, destroyed. Yes? My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. My name is Liana. What is yours, Paladin? You have my gratitude for releasing me. I do not know how long I've been held captive, but I sense an overwhelming number of demons nearby. We have much to do here, you and I. Death to the Legion! I thank you for my freedom, Noble. Unfortunately, the Soul Harvest has taken much of my strength. I will regain the full extent of my power shortly. Thank you so much, Genjo. That means the world, matey. I came out on a mission to slay the demon editor Azoran. During my infiltration, I was shut down from my fell bets and captured. I'm not going to mince words, Noble. Azoran plans to use the Burning Legion command ship to destroy Daladan. To stop him, I will need my warglaves that were lost during my fall from the sky. I will treat them myself, but I'm still weakened from my imprisonment. Search for the warglaves on the northern side of the crater, where I was shut Do down. Do not give in to the power of the Legion. Fresh meats. This crater is infested with fell fire basilisks. They may not be the most cunning creatures, but they are as vile and dangerous as any demon. However, they may yet prove useful to us. Slay the basilisk, but return to me with chunks of their fell infused flesh. I have plans to make use of their fleshy carved... Their freshly carved flesh. If we don't meet again, die well. That's one weapon. Cold to the touch. This work life first for the blood of demons. Yum yum yum. Um, a dark, hateful energy resonates throughout this work life. All right, let's shoot some fell bats out of the sky. Kapow! I missed. Motherfucker. I missed again. Come here! What the? Ah! It still baffles me that people out there start drama specifically for attention. When the Legion is it finally happens. gone, we can gaze at the heavens in peace. Uh, a glaive circumstances. Do you have my glaives? I do. Thank you. Now that my war glaives are returned, I will bring a ruin upon fell soul holds. My wrath is unending and my vengeance swift. Remember. Nothing is more important than the Legion's destruction. Do you have the fresh fell flesh I require? I do. I see that you've returned with the freshly carved remains of the fell basilisks. Listen closely, and I will explain the purpose behind retrieving them. Trust in Lord Illidan's plan. You have my thanks for rescuing me from captivity, Paladin. However, Azoran is no mere demon. He is a powerful editor who commands a great rank within the Burning Legion. If you, if you wish to continue with me, I need proof of your strength. Didn't I just save you? Whatever. Grimming the devour is the strongest of the felbets and a suitable test of skill. Place the basilisk, basilisk flesh upon the altar to the north and slay Grimwing when she appears. Return to me with her hat and I will not doubt your ability. Do not give in to the power of the Legion. My glaives have gone too long without tasting demon blood. If you wish to find me when Grimwing is slain, follow the trail of demon corpses. Is there anything in the lore that says why Blizzard hates Onyxia so much? Uh, she's a black dragon. The massive fangs and dripping fell blood of Grimwing's lifeless head is the stuff of nightmares. Ooh. Speak now, demon. Lead me to your master. I may let you live. 
I mean, Ezeron is right behind him. Oh! Oh! Go away? No? Okay. And howdy, Ferronius. Hi, everybody. I've sacrificed everything. What have you given? What news do you bring of Grimwing the Devourer? He did. Grimwing was a formidable demon. I must say I'm impressed with your skill, Noble. There are many more demons here to kill. It is good to have someone capable at my side. Remember, nothing is more important than the Legion's destruction. The Burning Legion has no concept of mercy or remorse. If we wish to defeat such a threat, we must abandon those ideals as well. A fate worse than dying. When the Burning Legion takes a prisoner, it's not an act of mercy. While death is the destruction of the mortal body, if you are captured by the Legion, it will seek to destroy your soul. The Burning Legion uses sacrificial souls to power the demonic machinations of war. The soul engine is where the harvested souls are collected and stored. Though countless have already perished in the soul engine, you may yet save those still alive inside. Hurry and release them before it's too late. Death to the Legion! Symbols of power. This demon has information that could lead us to those in charge. Unfortunately, he is more fearful of his master than he is of us. We need to change his mind about that. The most powerful Burning Legion soldiers often carry an emblem of their rank and status within the demon army. Seek out the strongest or the stronger demon in Felsal Hold, slay them, and return to them with their symbols or emblems. I will show you this Wormtongue servant who it is he should be. Trust fear. in Lord Illidan's plan. It's a high mountain tauren. Ah, I didn't see those before. Oh, they're all taurens. What the hell are you all doing here? How do I like Retribution Paladin in Legion? I like it well enough. Um, you know, I can use it to kill things and I can get my quest done. I like it well enough. Will I main it? I don't know yet. Uh, will it hold up in raids? I don't know. Um, I unfortunately haven't tested anything on like a mythic difficulty or number wise or raid testing wise. It's just not my area of expertise. Well. I guess I saved a whole bunch of prisoners at the same time there. Alright, get. There we go. Phew! I did what you asked me to do. I killed your demons. We're gonna show this guy who's boss. We are all that stands between the Legion and Annihilation. A fate worse than dying. The destruction of the soul is a fate far worse than dying. You've done a great service to those who saved. If we don't meet again, die well. Do you have the Legion emblems? I sure do. I see you've returned with the emblems. Excellent. Let's see how this worm tongue reacts when we show him what we made of his comrades. Death to the Legion. My patience has run out, worm tongue. Where does your master hide? Alari la rakwa. Azran, listen, Rakan, Octa, Kalika, Glot, Murgo, Bargo! Murloc! It's a Murloc! No? Ah, uh, Shard of Orgos. According to the Wormtongue Servant, there is a portal that will take you into the Burning Leaves command ship. However, the portal is locked to those without the keys. The first key is held by an Erad Ruin. Known as a Vorgos, he resides within the Fell Breach, which is at the end of the Arcway. Slay Vorgos and place the key into its position next to the Trust portal. Trust in Lord Illidan's plan. The demon leading the operation in Felsal Hold is an Eredar named Azoran. In order to get to him, we will need to open a portal to the Burning Legion command ship. Azoran has a demon jailer in the surface known as Kozak the Afflictor. Kozak the Afflictor holds one of the key shards necessary to open a portal to the ship. He can be found in the prison quarters known as the Halls of the Eclipse in the lower portion of Felsal Hold. Slay Kozak and place his key shard next to the portal. Do not give in to the power of the Legion. Alright. Okay, hello. Can I help you? The key is around here somewhere. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? It's no use trying to bust open this cage. This one needs a key. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is it possible that the Burning Legion could capture the dwarf as mighty as old Angus here? You, see, you can't rest easy knowing I let myself be captured. I'm here to rescue a dear friend of mine, and getting captured was the only way. I had the key in my pocket, but it must have fallen out. It's uh, around here somewhere. A fell hunter aided a wee while back. So for those of you who have... Um, Express your concerns that as these uber heroes in the storyline we may no longer will be asked to do like the shitty quest lines. Don't you worry. You will be shifting through the poop. You will be doing that all the same. 
It keeps us humble. Arthur's never had to do poop quest, and look at what happened to him. Best reasoning ever. Oh, well, that was easy enough. Last time I had to do like six. Oh, it's still bugged. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Did you find the key? Sure did. Angus was the guy from the Deathwing quest in Badlands, I think. I'm sure we can look it up. You found the key! Quickly! See where it fits! Aye, that's the one. You did it! We've gotten to find Bremley before it's too late. All Bremley and I have been fighting side by side since the Third War. When the Burning Legion invaded, we didn't think twice about coming to the Broken Isles. Fighting's what we do best. During the battle, Lord Bremley got caught too deep and got himself captured. And now we've got to rescue him. Last I saw, the demons were keeping him in a prison cell not far from here. Let's go! Come out! Let's go save your buddy. Whoa, we gotta get it to Bramley before it's too late. Alright. Your human friend was taken by the demons. Grant me my freedom and I will tell you where he was taken. Alright, let's get him the key. But be on your guard, this place is crawling with demons. Stealthia Star Song, eh? Alright. Here we get the key. We got a fell soul key. And we're gonna get bust the guy out. Come out, little prisoner. Have you found the key yet? Sure did. It's good to finally be free from this dreadful cage. As thanks, I will keep my word to you and your grotesquely hairy friend. The Fellstalker pits. There's no time. Oh, your friend was taken to the Fellstalker pits beneath the Great Burning Legion command ship. There's no time to waste, Noble. Damn it, sadly, it's probably too late for him. Don't foolishly throw your lives away for a dead man. I cannot tell you what a Burning Legion has planned for old Bramley, but it cannot be good. Hurry, we must go find him before the Burning Legion has the way with him. Alright, into the pits. But first, before we go, let's see if we can do this pillar one. Infuse the ley line with ancient mana. Here you go, have some mana. As you imbue the feet with the mana, the structure stirs the life. Your skin tingles as the surrounding air becomes charged with arcane power. Achievement progress soul vaults. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that once you get all of the Soul Vaults achievements, uh, or all of the pillars up, you will get the Soul Vaults achievements. Does it also tell you where they are? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, Leyline Bling! Placeholder Crimson Fickets. Placeholder Crimson Fickets. What are the Ephidials? The Ephidials were a race of people attacked by uh, a big blob creature. Normally I would know the name by heart, but I don't remember it. And at first they were able to withstand it, then they didn't, their defenses, and they were infused with uh, arcane, I think. They gave like an incorporeal form to them, mummy creatures they were turned into. And then later on they came to our planets. I answered it in one of the Q&As. Look, the Bramley's helm! I'd recognize it anywhere. It cannot be true. Bramley, my dear old friends, why did you have to go and die? Bramley, I still cannot believe it. I cannot leave the lad here, not in this place. Not like this. Help me find the rest of him, so I can take his remains back home where he belongs. We'll give him a proper burial. It's what he deserves. We got his left arm. Ew. Bugs out there, alright. And we got a part of tibia. Then we got his right arm. Delicious. Anything in the back of the cave? And now we just need a skull, but apparently a skull... Is in the helmet. Oh, look at that. Skull. I got your stuff. Don't worry, Bremley. I'll carry your wee head to safety. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. You do that, buddy. But the dwarf face is back outside. Yeah. You think we could turn it out in here? Dwarfy. Yay. Bramley, I promise you'll have the best burial money can buy. And all the ale you can drink. The demonic beast that stands before you must be the one that devoured old Bramley. Just look at it! L Just look at it! Gaze upon my empire of joy! Br Bramley, I promise you I'll have the best burial money can buy and all the ale you can drink. The demonic beast that stands before you... Oh, he's still alive, Bramley says. I'm alive, I'm up here. Okay. Just look at it, lying there with full belly. I cannot abide it any longer. We must slay the foul creature and avenge Bramley. We've come this far already, Paladin. 
Are you with me? I can still hear Bramley's voice in my head telling me to stay alive. I will, Letty. I'll stay alive for both of us. It is my voice, you deaf dwarf. I'm alive. Uh, the ward pulses with overflowing energy. I really want to see what it does, though. Like, so far, the buffs like only the kitty cat has been fun. For three minutes, I have a chance to inflict arcane damage on attack. Okay. Are the world quests going to be repeating all the time, or is there any some kind of update from time to time? Any information on that? I wish I could tell you, Yeriko. And is there actually a shadow, Pepe? Cool. Alright, so we got the shards. We're gonna do that quest line. Okay. Insert shard one. The shard of Vargos pulses in your hand. <laughs> The Shard of Vorogos locks into position next to the portal. Swirling foul energy collects around the shard, filling the room with an ominous dark presence. <sighs> the Shard of Kozak tucks as it warns, uh, wants to fly into place. Um, the Shard of Kozak locks into position next to the portal. You can feel the dark ramping of foul energy surround you as it collects near the portal. Now that the portal's been opened, the path to Ezeron is clear. Everything. I'm just gonna what pick up her quest doing? before she leaves me. Enter the portal and fight your way to Azran. Or Azoran. Do not worry about reinforcements. I will guard this portal with my life. Time is short. Go swiftly. And what did the quest say that you gave me? Azran must die. You want much time before the Legion is aware of your presence on the ship. When the alarm is raised, countless burning Legion forces will attempt to board the ship through this portal. I will not let them succeed. I will guard this portal from any re enemy reinforcements until we return. It is up to you to slay Ezran and lay waste to his ship. If you don't much time, you must attack swiftly and without mercy. Oh, this is the light break. cut through you. This is the light breaker question. Gotcha. That's good to know. Bye bye, Azran. And my playlist is nearly ended. Charge. Oh no! Okay, so now there's supposed to be an alarm going off. No alarm though. Um, we turn it in with the same person. All right. Why no action camera? You didn't like it? Um, I don't like it for gameplay. I like the camera well enough. I think it offers some um, nice opportunities for recording for like videos, but not for just general questing now. Lord Illidan knows the way. With Azran slain, the Legion has been dealt a crippling blow that they will not soon recover from. You have my respects. Do not give in to the power of the Legion. The Burning Legion has not been dealt a great blow. Has been <laughs> the Burning Legion has been dealt a great blow this day, but our work is far from over. I will wait for you in Shaladan. Return there when you're ready. We have much to discuss. Ah, yeah. So those who are wondering, um, what are we doing? We are building a rebellion, and this is our rebellion base. Can see me back at base. Oh, see? The world quest is turned in with the faction. All right. One day at a time. The night fallen. The night fallen, thank you. And you get like a horde for it. Be careful who you trust. And what is inside? 220, 212 gold and 425 order resources. <sighs> Amazing. But isn't there supposed to be a demon hunter around here? She told me that she was going to go here and that I could meet her. And yet all I find is people wanting my mana. All of them except for the subjects. That's weird. How much time does Sudamar take? So far I've been spending around 15 hours here. Give or take. And we're nowhere near close Our to isolation done. Has ended. You want some mana, you want some mana. Oh, Demon Hunter. Are you out there? 
Left side, upstairs, what? Oh, there she is! Oh, holy shit, thank you! I was hoping that she had like a quest marker above her head. I guess not. We are all that stands ah! between you oh. and annihilation. I knew that was coming. Haha. -ha. Overreaction. If we don't meet again, die well. Death to the Legion. <clears throat> uh, so that's not implemented yet. This guy wants some mana. They all want my mana, dude. I don't have that much mana. Chill. You have mana? There you go. Gonna get some mana for y'all. Hello? I could sir uh, I couldn't turn in those when I did them. Oh yeah, I imagine so, Drakur. I imagine so, Mehdi. They're just placeholders. Is this really a Pexis? No, 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 no. Everybody chill. It's only pa uh, placeholder. It's only placeholder. The only Apexis you have to worry about is all the fucking mana you need to get all over the place. Don't don't you worry about it. I mean, mana is completely different from Apexis, right? Alright, let's see what Night Eyes has to say. Blop. You seen the gift shop? Nope! The collar you took from the trapper is simple but effective. Affixing the collar to a target will make them complacent and obedient to their Nightborn masters. Leoria was able to reverse the spell using the traps you found. The magics in the collar can now be used to cancel out the other colors. There's a freaking zoo! I can get souvenirs for mana! I can get an elic. The menagerie is not responsible for any lost or stolen merchandise left on the ground. Three minute cooldown. A devil sore launch box restores zero health and mana until cancelled. Taking damage will remove the effects. Limited to broken owls, but comes with a rotating menu and matching thermals. What the fuck? And a raptor! Buy them all! <laughs> I will buy this one. Ah! Look at that! It's a souvenir! <laughs> and you actually need to pick it back up, otherwise you're gonna leave it behind. Neat. Neat. So, if you ever wanted to go to a zoo in World of Warcraft, now you can. But this is not why we're here. We are here to set nature free. Invalid targets. How about you? There we go. What do you think you're doing? Uh, liberating the goats? Go, go, be free! You are facing the wrong way. Fine, I guess we're killing the goat. Oh shit, I pissed him off. You can't stun you. Look, Yeti, I'm gonna free you if you like it or not. Goat! I kinda pissed off the wildlife. Can't do the while moving invalid target, alright. Look, I tried to free this dude, he doesn't want to be free. Hang on, buddy. Two seconds. Just gotta heal. There was already a zoo in while with the Dark Moon Fair. Yeah, but that zoo sucked. Compared to this, that zoo sucked. Just yell to get saved. Will do. I can hear the cries and see the carnage from here. That will teach the Nightborn to enslave creatures. Have they fallen so far during all those years under the shield? I have good news and bad Don't spoil it, Epic Pharaoh. Come on, dude. I have good news and bad news, human. The bad news is that they somehow managed to capture and train a Devil Sar. The good news is that it doesn't seem to have a color and it's tame. I imagine it must think that one of the Nightborn in there is its master. Find the pack leader and take him out, and we will set quite a beast upon them.
Enough of this. To me, Suesh, destroy these interlopers. What is this? Listen to me. I am the Alpha. Is that how it is? Clever girl. Uh, okay. Well, we um, made the star attraction our number one fan. Excellent. I saw everything from out there. Out here. That was messy. We have a devil's star. I think she sees you as the pack leader now. She should obey your commands. She looks hungry. Why don't you let her off the leash a little bit? <gasps> Ride Suesh and defeat 50 adversaries. Okay, if we're gonna do this, Shalassic Park, we gotta do it right. <laughs>
Embrina is my target. Embrina! So hungry! Mind is slipping! Would you like some wine? Night will be praised! That funnel was going to die! It is nice though, Vantir still thinks of us. It isn't far. Thank you. Alright. Next. He stares at you blankly. You are not my brother. I am not your brother, mate. But I have some wine for you. What? what? It is Ark wine for you. Go on, brother. Clotaire attentively sips at the wine, then takes a deep gulp. Ha, not so fast, you may choke! Where? Hush, you. Thank Vantir for me, won't you? Haven't seen a porter in days. How is it possible to overlook an entire community like this? Somehow, I do not think we've been merely overlooked. Hmm. See you, Shammy Wolf. Thanks for joining him. I see another citizen. Is the shipment in? Please tell me there's more. Please! I need my fix, man. I need my fix. Uh, there's enough, never enough for the both of us. I choose to suffer over her. Who is her? Donatine? Ow! Oh! He found more? Yes, plenty for both of us today. Takes a quick drop of the mana wine. I'm guessing we're dealing with some phasing problems. Otherwise, the spirits of their loved ones tell them to drink. Brigitte, Emil, and Anas with Lunetta. Uh, Father, I'm thirsty. Can I have some mana juice? S soon, little one. Soon, I, I promise. Ah. Okay, this is becoming pretty damn depressing. Can I have some mana juice? You even made your children addicts! Not the children! Hmm. They need it more. I will be fine. Have some wine. Get up, Brigitte says. Take a drink, darling. You will feel better. But you need... We will survive until tomorrow. Vantir always takes care of us, you know that. <laughs> much better. Thank you. Thank you so much! No, Mommy! Okay, I kind of feel bad for these. I kind of feel bad for you all. Oh, where could she have gone? Try to relax, friend. We will find her. Mm-hmm. Have you served those who suffer? Your eyes are opening to our reality. I can see it in your expression. Good. Artifact power! Nice. I need your help. The wine you so graciously distributed to the needy was the last of my reserves. Without more, these people Try here will to relax, friend. We will find her. Without more, these people here will risk succumbing to their first and eventually becoming withered. I'm dedicated to preventing this for as long as possible. There's a woman by the name of Deline who owns and operates a small delivery service out of her gondola. Is that how you say it? I hope so. Find her, identify yourself as my messenger, and offer your aid in acquiring the next shipment. Okie dokie. Vereen's child has gone missing. I can guess what happens, but I need to be sure. Are we going to see a wither child now? Most guardmen, uh, guardsmen use courier, couriers to relay delicate information. In this, magic is strictly the province of high-ranking officials. Take this blade. Do not touch the cutting edge. Use it to silently waylay the courier, couriers and collect any correspondence they carry. 
With any luck, the missus will tell us exactly where to find the girl. We guards know everything after all. Silgrin offers you a winning smile. Swing! But you, Deline, is actually what I'm looking for, a gondolier. Uh, need a ride, stranger? Display your allegiance. Oh, nice. I see. You are the one I was waiting for. All I need is a full boat, and I'll be on my way. Let's get started, shall we? Your lack of letterworking knowledge offends him, right? I hope you can manage better than our last wine thief, rest his soul. I've noticed some wandering eyes lately. I'm more than happy to continue delivering the goods to Vantir, but it is getting increasingly dangerous to do so. The night guard that walks the bazaar are by far the most observant. Find and slay inspectors so that I may deliver the goods safely. I will follow behind with the shipments. So slay some of the watchmen. And I would imagine you thought I would simply have wine to deliver. She chuckles. If it were that easy, his people would not be starving. Your expression becomes serious. These loyalists, shall we say, enjoy abundance. They dance to the Magistrix's whims, and so they have all that they need. There's no Arkwine shortage. The Magistrix creator wants to keep us in line. Oh. They will not miss a few bottles. They have plenty. Search the square and bring as much as you can carry back. So there is actually no shortage. Just what they do. All right. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, Zephyr590 just subscribed. Zephyr, thank you very, very much for subscribing, matey. Be welcome! And I hope you enjoyed the stream. Did you find enough? I'm still looking, sorry. I'll go look now. This city looks like it's modeled after Venice, it's beautiful. That is actually uh, where they got their inspiration from. I think they said that, yeah. Okay. Don't mind me while I steal some of your wine. In plain view. You don't mind it, do you? No, of course not. Uh, did you find enough? I did. I will see that this gets back to a friend safely. Good work. Thank you. Where are you going? Don't drown yourself, mate. Where the hell are you going? You were supposed to deliver the wine! <laughs> and she was never seen again. You are, however. Oh, I can get kill you bastards. All right. <clears throat> can you stream for another five hours so Merrick can announce his subversary? I will do my best, Elijah, but I can't promise anything. You need to sit on more benches and listen to people talking really loudly <laughs> about their secret plans right in front of you. Yep. Your death is certain. Yeah, I don't think so. Is this Surumari? Yep. Is there a lot of water in Legion? Would the Shrider be worth it? I think the Shrider is always worth it. Is there a lot of water in, in Legion? It's a little bit. Like this. Come. <gasps> oh my god, really? Yoink! Really now? I, I kind of love Surumari a lot. Look at that, man. The line was able to deliver the goods safely, thanks to you. You're welcome. Uh, were you successful? I was. Fine work. I will read these over. Let me see. Hmm. They've been rounding up a lot of people lately. Children, too. Do you think Corinne could be Very with the other children? Possible. I'll have our friend here follow a guard in and find out. Oh, sure. I'll do that for you. This is a good a chance we are going to get to rescue Vrin's daughter. Here's how it is going to work. You are going to wait here for the guards to pass by on the way to the guard shifts. Look for something to hide in. <laughs> you will know the guards by their bright red armor. Follow closely, but not so closely that you are seen. It may be necessary to kill the guard when you reach your destination. The child's name is Corinne. Good luck. <laughs> cool.
free child. It will be I'll be good, I promise. They even imprisoned children. Like what the hell? Alright. Uh context for what's going on. The Nightbottom Suramar have allied themselves with the Legion. This is a bad thing. We will teach them to not do naughty things like that. We are creating a rebellion. We are helping out the Nightborn that do not agree with the Queen's choices. As well as get uh, Withered in. As well as get everybody else in that wants to join. Uh, so we're building allegiances. We're helping them out. And we're doing a little bit of infiltration. As you can see, I can go into the basket. And if I put on a Masquerade Mask, I will be in stealth mode. And they... Uh, voila. Alrighty, Corrine. I did what you asked me. You let them go? I'm glad. I didn't like being in cage either. Uh, deploy a trapped treasure chest. You rascal. A never-ending toy chest. Okay. I'm ready to go home now, but there are still scary men outside. Will you stay with me? Make sure they don't take, they t don't take me away. I don't want to go back into the cage. I will save you. I want my mommy. Mommy. I'll keep you safe, kid. Oh no! Ah! Basket, 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 basket. Hey! <laughs> and she's like, fa la 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 la. Well, screw you too, kid. <laughs> See you, Sparkles. Thanks for joining. Or little Sparks, even. I think I can make it from the rest of here. I... I know this street, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's Venter's house. I did it. I did your filthy quest. Oh, my sweet little Kareem. Thank you, thank you. Mommy. Oh, my sweet little child. Are you hurt? Were they mean to you? They yelled and put me in a cage. I missed you. I died. Four times for you. You're home now. Thank goodness. Thank you. I cannot begin to express my gratitude. You could pay for my repair bill. Now get my other sister on the other side of town. <laughs> oh, my sweet little Kareen. Thank you, thank you. You have done well for us here, but it is time for you to re return to Talistra. There is a teleporter pad nearby that has gone unused in recent years. See if you can uh, reroute it and return to her that way. Oh, and before you go, Venter hands you a red bottle of Arc Wine. Take this to her. With my thanks for sending you. Let her know that your efforts helped replenish her Arc Wine supplies and reunite it a mother and a child. We are grateful beyond measure. Farewell for now. Basically, we're just getting them wine. Basically, we're just getting them drugs. That's all there is to it. The network is responding to a new beacon. Ah, hello again. Give me a moment. I'm locking in your location now. Beam me up, Scotty. I will give you a moment, sure. <laughs> Please don't prove idiots right. The video games make serial killers. What's a joke, mate? Honestly. And when I said murder everyone, I meant in the city, in the game. I need food, man. I need a Snickers. Alright. So I did the thing. I did the quest. Deliver Vantir's gift to Talistra. Greetings. Hello. 
Offer the gift wrapped arc wine bottle. Surama. A gift for me? Yeah. Talistra smiles warmly. I will see that it is not wasted. Well done, my friends. Aran Arcana. Friends on the outside. Vantir is a very pleasant fellow. We are only as strong as our will. Talisa abode. While you were busy in the city, I reached a roadblock in my wither research. I feel I'm close to overcoming this barrier, but I'm afraid I cannot do so without some more advanced tools. I hid among my uh, possessions an item called an arcane amplifier. It does precisely what his name in entails. It is more than likely that the Magistrix ordered my estate dismantled. If the amplifier remains, I will, it will be in fragments. Recover the whole if you can. Search Talisa's estate to collect three amplifier fragments. Combine them into an arcane amplifier. Increase the amount carried of ancient matter by 200. Be careful who you trust. Come on, fragments. Nice, thank you. I got the amplifier. You've done it! Guard it well until you can return to me. So why is there a quest marker inside then? What's going on inside? Hello? What are you doing? Talistra's ransacked estate still contains a number of items important to Talistra. Collect them and return them to her. Okay. I can do that. They're rifling through my drawers, peeping rats. Please recover my belongings. Will do. So she wants her favorite robe. My robes. Ah, I've missed these. I hope they still fit. I'm gonna guess that they're a little bit loose. And not gonna lie, I think you lost a little bit of weight. A stack of arcane tomes. Just in case the library does not survive Alessandra's insanity. I'll keep an eye on these tomes. Uh, it would be best if they did not know who I was conversing with before. Private correspondence. A heavy cluster of hand scrawled notes and scrolls. Alrighty, I got to your stuff and I got to your right enhancer. Calls to me. Did you find it? I did get your amplifier. How lucky we are that it could be recovered. Thank you. Suramar must be free. What did you find? I found your stuff. This is a comfort beyond words. The Shalderai will be redeemed. This next mission I offer you is incredibly dangerous. You will need allies to succeed. Oh god. Deep beneath Suramar is a defunct set of tunnels known as the Arcway. Oh, we're going into a dungeon. Phew. They were abandoned when a disaster disrupted the mana collectors operating there. I know not what awaits you down there, but I do know one thing. We are not the only ones interested in this place. Make enough noise and one of the advisors with whom I served under Alessandre is sure to appear. His name is Vandros. Slay him if you can. Slay Vandros in the Arcway. Ah, there we go. I saw you. I saw you! Hi! There you are. This was the guy that I was talking about. Lespin Silverleaf. You there! Do you have a moment? I need you to meet with my friend in the promenade and retrieve a signet ring. I would send my oath of an apprentice, but he's not finished with the simple task I gave him. I'm expecting a guest at any moment and I simply must have it before he arrives. Can you help me, friends? Um... Apologies, Master. I'm still working on the clasp for the Rush Commission. An amateur merchant embraces excuses. A master embraces solutions. Yes, can I help you? The spin sent you. So he could not even be bothered to show up himself. Well, I suppose I've already received my payment. So we do not particularly care what happens to the ring now. Here, take the ring. Tell the spin that it had better be worth it. Very well. A blood spattered signet ring. Okay, I picked up your ring. I gave my life to do so. Do you have it? Sure do. Oh, thank the Magistrix. I was worried it was lost forever. I see that this ring has seen some, uh, use. I do hope it doesn't belong to anyone important or, uh, vocal. Now that the shield is down, the older settlement, the older settlements outside the city have been on my mind. Did you know that I helped create the filigree on the arcane lamps that are used throughout the city? A simple task. One of my first. No matter. Nostalgia is the enemy of progress. 
Their lamps are made of material better used than my new works. Those wretched harpies probably have been sev uh, probably have several decorating their nests. Bring back any you find. The shield being lower presents a unique opportunity for new styles. Feathers, bone, and other primitive ma materials are suddenly fashionable again. Who would have thought that they could grow tired of my masterpieces? Venture out of the city and collect necklaces from the harpies on the southern cliffs. Etching my market to them should net me a tidy profit. Would you ever want to be a quest rider for Blizzard? Um, maybe one or two. But as a full-time job? Nah, not really. A beautiful lamp. Arcane low lamp. Guttered out for millennia. Alright. Gold, silver. As currency, they are trivial things. As symbols of status, they reveal their true value. Can you imagine? A Lespin original hiding under a pile of leaves? What a waste. Excellent. I shall have these melted down and turned into ingots for my next batch of commissions. Do you have my necklaces? They are of no use to me on the neck of those creatures. Those wretched creatures are a scourge on our beautiful lands. At least they had good taste in their accessories. Or maybe they just like shiny things. Amateur merchants worry about losing face from bad products. Masters worry about losing face from bad customers. Nullifis Springblade has grown too bold for his station, and as such has lost much standing in the eyes of the city's elite. I sold this man a brush, a clasp he wears on his cape. I'm careful to only sell to those above my station. My pieces never tarnish, but my name and reputation are much more fragile. Relieve him of my property before he lowers me further. Wow. An amateur merchant looks back on a previous work as a learning experience. A master knows that some things are better left forgotten. I was vain centuries ago, desperate to prove myself. I took on a bold commission. Find him and bring him back. You will know what I'm talking about when you see this, or when you see it. He resides near the villa south of his courtyard. North of his. Hello. What do you want? I have few friends in these dark days. I'm prepared to defend myself. Lesbian wants his brush back. My brush? Bah! A bigger, bigger things to worry about than Lespin. Unfortunately for you, I no longer have the brush. It was stolen by Vandalist Swiftsea, undoubtedly part of some plot to assassinate my reputation. It is a clever move, since now I cannot be seen near him. If we go to speak with him and recover the brush, I think we would both benefit from this mess. Don't mind me, citizens. I'm just killing Vandalist Swiftsea here. Don't mind me. And now we have his brush. Yay! Gold, silver, a currency. Here's your brush. That oath will undo years of hard work. It is much easier to fail than it is to climb. Ah, see? I told you would not tarnish. Now there's nothing linking me to that fool. What's that? A plot to weaken his position? Regardless, the damage has been done. Better safe than sorry. But master, this man was innocent. His name was cleared, surely he deserves second chance. It does not matter what could happen to his reputation. He has already ruined it. This is why you're still an apprentice. <clears throat> What's going on here then? Fine, take it. Just don't hurt me anymore. The chest is over there. Oh, this was when he was ambitious, I think, and he wants to remove it. The claw collects for the... There we go. He was so passionate, so driven. I saw his vision, created to his exact specifications. Beautiful, filigree, and an animal put to a fearsome weapon. The claw collects for the... It certainly seems well made, at least. <laughs> Overwatch that game. <laughs> By the Magistrix, I've forgotten how ugly that thing is. Impeccable workmanship, obviously, just... Ugh. I should melt the whole thing down. Got some artifact power for that, nice, nice, nice. Amateur merchants complain about supply and demands. Masters create their own. You've done well retrieving the last two pieces I requested, but there are baubles compared to this. Your target is the Lady Anastay, and she has something very valuable of mine. A design for a masterwork gem cut. 
Go and get it from her by any means necessary. But take care. She's a master manipulator. We'll tell you all manner of lies. Convince the lady to give you the gem cutter's tome. Anything to say about it, apprentice? Hmm, nope. Oh, lady. There is a fellhound tracker in your floor. Not to alarm you, but there is a fellhound tracker in your floor. And I need to persuade you. Will you allow me to click on you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, maybe it's because I'm in combat. Oh, snap. All right, will you allow me to click on you now? Nope. One day at a time. Opening the arcway. Thank you. It is one thing I no longer need to think about. Your attacks have a chance to increase your critical strike chance with 977 strength or boots with general better stats. I'll take the boots, sure. We are only as strong. You have done much for us, friends. I will call upon you again soon. Until then, please accept my thanks. Oh, is it locked away on a daily basis? Mm. What if Sand was wrong to doubt our magic? Hmm. I was fine. You need not concern yourself. But I do concern myself. You may speak. You and your beautiful voice acting. Long buried knowledge. Beneath Sudama City is an ancient network of tunnels known as the Arcway. They were abandoned some time ago as part of the cavern became unstable. Since then, who knows? Regardless of what's currently down there, I believe you will find something essential to our continued success. Long ago, when people took a thorough survey of the ley lines in and around Sudamar, this they would have stored in the library for the Arcway. Find this map for me. I just did this! Run along. Leyline Apprentice. Good work finding those additional leyline fees. You seem rather competent for an outlander. Allow me to share with you a few secrets about the power of the ley lines. This should help you in scavenging more ancient mana from the creatures around Sudamar. A grisly task I know, which is why I leave it to you. Grants a chance to loot additional ancient mana from creatures in Sudamar. Aran Arcana. Leyline Apprentice, now listen closely. Oh, good help is so hard to find. Okay. Farewell. So before we do anything else, let's see if we can feed the other dude as well. Yeah, I should have fed her sooner. Ah, well. He mumbles, have some mana. I should hope you never experience that pain. So he doesn't do anything, he just gives you the buff. She gives you the weird ass Apexus crystals. I guess we're going back into uh, Arcway. Yay! Um, I've done Jarl, a growing crisis, blood and wine, statecraft, and a change of seasons. Alright. But I think I will just have to explain to the people, like, yo, look, I did my best to try and finish it. I know the general storyline, but it's not complete. I guess we'll have to do that then. Storyline behind Sudomar is uh, they recognize that Azora was dabbling with powers that they had to... Um, that they didn't want to do anything with. So they raised a shield with the use of the Nightwell. And now when Gul'dan showed up for some reason, they lowered the shield. Probably because their leader didn't see um, another option. Those that didn't agree with their leader, they stepped away. Uh, or they spoke out. And they were disconnected from the Nightwell. And once you're disconnected from your Nightwell as a uh, Nightborn, you uh, devolve. You first go into a um, Nightfallen state. And if you can find mana to sustain yourself, okay, good, fine. You can just live as a mana addict. But if you don't, you devolve even further into a Withered. And at that point, you pretty much lose your mind. However, we have seen a Withered that has found the weapon in our Rebellion base. And somehow by touching that, it allowed the guy to study it and motivate the Withered to actually join us in the war. We followed that research, we got the subject, we saw the history of the subject, we saw like how he was exiled out of the city, we saw what happened to his family, 
And um, he is now in our rebellion base. We helped the teleportation guy. We helped the demon hunter who was working at Felsol Hold. Now, unfortunately, the dwarf quest is not finishable because it's currently phased. But the demon hunter was pretty much captured. Kill a whole bunch of demons. The legion is there. Take care of them. Then the quest line in Janvik was we were manipulated by one of the Naga into killing some members of the Janvik. We then eventually discovered that we were betrayed. And we teamed up with the Vrijko with Janvik and they made us uh, their leader. They were like, hey, all hail noble. He helped us out and they were friendly. They didn't necessarily join the rebellion in this regard, but they were there. Then we have the Moonguards. The Moonguards were overrun. They were betrayed from within. We helped the Moonguards. They also joined our rebellion eventually. Um, so that was kind of nice. So basically, all in all, we are working together on getting troops. We are working together on getting an army ready to assault Sudamar City and eventually get into the raid. Now, the first dungeon that we did was the Arcway. That is pretty much the sewers. We are then later on going to go into the dungeon that's like the party. We're going to crash the party and try to take out the Magistrix. That's going to fail. And then we're going to flow into the raid where we're going to fight these different bosses with eventually Gul'dan as the end boss. And some things are going to go down there. And that's pretty much the storyline of Suramar, apparently. Cool. Now it's just, you know, just figuring out the details, like what exactly is that weapon? What exactly are we going to do with the Withered? What exactly is going to go down here? Are we eventually going to get Suramar on our side and the city as well? It's in the details.